Okay. Look at that money. Look at that mag tube. That mag tube is pretty as a motherfucker. Okay, we should. It be is. That I am not kidding when I say that thing looks so good. Holy we should shit. be rolling out to. Oh, let me go full like, screen. Let me go full screen. It looks so good. We should be it's rolling paying. out to the folks, Bert. Walt. Yeah, go ahead. Show it off, Walt. I'll let you go first. You're joining us live Bert, here Bert. on Player. So Bert, Walter, yeah, the you know what I'm So Walter can show off <laughs> shotguns. There you go. Uh, uh, like, I, like I always say here, you're joining us live on Player. Shout out to all the people joining us live. This is a special episode. The penultimate before we hit a thousand episodes. 999! We'll t you'll hear nine, that a lot. 999! Nine, nine. So, uh, <laughs> celebrating, I got my 9mm right here, AKV from Palmetto State Armory. Shout out to the homies at uh, PSA. Walt's got one too. There you go. Ba -ba 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 -bing -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I went, I, I went back old school and put wood and plastic yeah. on it. That's what I, I guess we got to show. I don't know what Patrick has, but we, we, we have to show 9mm, Patrick. I know you got some cool stuff that's you know, I don't probably have a not. Single nine millimeter around here. <laughs> you there you go. What? Nine, okay. nine, nine, nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nine, nine, nine. No, you, I yeah. got twenty twos, a shotgun. Where is your? Ep really? Oh. What's your? You gotta have something. I, uh, yeah. There's no way he doesn't have a nine millimeter sitting up out there. So anyway, yes, that's right. So YouTube won't let us go live and handle guns, shooters. Like uh, this, uh, what is this? Glock? It's Glock. Roland special, my man. Roland, oh, Roland. special. Glock of course. <laughs> it's the only thing I have sitting near me. There you go. Of course. Uh, the Roland special. Patrick's uh, Roland special. There you go. Yes, YouTube won't let us go live and hold guns, so we do it here on player slash who moved my freedom, WMMF. Uh, formerly known as, uh, damn it, I forget, what the hell was it before? Utreon. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's changing their names of their things. So My if you are if you are listening to this on audio and you want to join us, the place to go is player slash WMMF. If you're watching this later on YouTube, because of course we do put it up on YouTube, it's just not live. Uh, same thing, go to the same place. All right, that, are you guys ready? Rock and roll. Let's do this. Let's uh let's let's do this thing. Nine 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 Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Move My Freedom podcast going without the support of great companies like Franklin Armory. Franklin Armory provides 100% U.S. made firearms and awesome binary option triggers. Their focus and purpose is to provide freedom tools to all Americans, especially those in not so free states. So when you're in the market, please consider Franklin Armory. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let me get everyone up on the screen. Jazz hands. There you go for the 900th and 99th time, Jazz Hands. I hope you guys have your big girl panties on because this is episode... Oh, <laughs> this there is... it is. Look at that thing. That thing this... is old as a mug. There ain't no fire in there. Oh, Lord. <laughs> ain't no Dixie cup, ain't no coffee mug. I'm not sure. Oof. Uh, this, this is going to be a tough one. <laughs> this is episode 999 of the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. Of course, it's free for all Monday. The title is Our, Our Hurricane Idalia Prep with BFP. Here he goes. Uh, yeah, he this, like... uh, let me let me get my eye. Okay, back for, on. for people is... who cannot see, Babyface has got this... a monocle, which looks is... really crazy. He looks nine, like a board. Nine, nine, nine. This, this right here. I got me a Harrington and Richardson 1900 serial number Alpha 65126, made in a probably 1903. Uh, came from Safety Harbor Firearms, and I'm gonna bring it back to life. It's I don't know what the hell I'm gonna have to do to do that, but yeah. we're gonna bring it back to life, and then maybe we'll chop it and thread. I don't know what we'll do. We'll do some I'm always amazed by how early Patrick's ass can get up and go someplace when he's getting new guns. <laughs> Why would that amaze you? Of course. I, I, if I'm getting Crack guns, of dawn. I'm anywhere. <laughs> yes, because that's I guess that's one of the things you did over the weekend, which we'll talk about here in a second. But let me shout out everyone here. Um, like I said, we've after this episode, we're hitting a thousand. Now I don't think we're doing that we, next week because we don't it's swim out of here. Huh? If I well, said if we don't swim out of here. Oh yeah, yeah. If we survive Hurricane Adalia. Which, by the way, I was looking this up. Hurricane, what, uh, what is the meaning 
of the name Adalia. It is Behold the Sun. There you go. Cool. Several baby I mean, That's not websites. what we're going to see for 48 hours, but okay. <laughs> yeah. It says Adalia is a name of a Greek or Spanish uh, of Greek or Spanish origin. It means Behold the Sun, or simply the Sun. In Greek mythology, it was linked to Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty and love. So, so there you go. Okay. These, parts, um, these parts are all available. We're good. Yeah. Now shout them. outs. Let me do some shout outs. Shout outs to 42 Chilled out there, Armament and Axes. All the folks who. These folks come in here every time all we time. go live. They support us. We love you. I know. I, I love you. I love you. Um, Not in a strange way. Not in a strange way. Yeah, I love you. Okay, uh, Patrick, do you love the people? Well, welcome to Costco. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. <for> the movie. <laughs> Idiocracy. <laughs> Idiocracy. There you go. Look at Costco. Walter. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so, it's so, it's so funny. Um, Walter, do you love the people? I love you, man. I love you. <laughs> there you go. So Walter loves you too. Uh, Lola also loves you. Jade Grew is out there. Uh, I love you a long time. I love you a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, shooting gallery. Uh, shooting gallery. What is he? Is he shooting gallery? Sh Sunshine Official Stadium? now. Official. Oh. Shooting gallery official. <laughs> shooting gallery official. Who's getting his official first Florida hurricane, although it's not smacking him up. Oh, he's not even, it's not even yeah. close to <laughs> no, him. No, he's not, he's not getting smacked up by it. Uh, let's see who else is out there. Night Train is out there. Shout out to him. Armament and Axes, Kurt24, Cujo74 says, uh, hello to, hey everyone, you better get in the basement and light some ca We don't have basement no, in Florida. We got no motherfucking basement uh, yeah. in Florida. Yeah. yeah. It's called water. <laughs> uh, Night Train says, this is one reason I don't want to live in Florida. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yeah. um, let's see. You know, I buy a case. Able, a Defense, Able Defense is out there as well. Shout out to Able Defense. <laughs> Um, he's joining us. Let's see who else we got. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anyone. Come out and play is out there as well. He says happy Monday. But a big shout out to Cujo74 who gave us 10 bucks. Thank you very All much. 33% right. of that goes to Patrick. 33% goes to Walter. I ain't never going to see that money. I don't know where that money is. <laughs> Walter doesn't even know how to log in to get you, it. Yeah, you got to get on a player. <laughs> you got to get your, your player account connected. <laughs> You probably have at least at least twenty bucks got sitting 20, over there. Twenty bucks sitting in there, yeah. Yeah, you're still here, Walt. Hello. Why is Walt can frozen? You hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah we can hear you. Hear yeah. The internet's the internet's a little wanky tonight. I guess not. Um, I don't know why that is, but yeah, there you go. I mean, there is a hurricane. Let me go look at the spaghetti models. Spaghetti yeah. models. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about that, but let me start as I usually do. Uh, yeah. Shout out to you guys. Difficulties. How was everyone's weekend? Everyone have a good weekend. I had a fan fucking tastic weekend. <laughs> what you get up to? Difficulties. Uh, okay, so we got new projects on the way. Um, I uh -oh. went down to. I don't know, but I'm still here. Um, went down to South Florida. South, South Florida. Went down to Tampa to see my parents. Stay the weekend. We had a baby shower, so I actually had a reason. I wasn't just going out for no reason. Oh uh, my lord, how many, you guys are still having baby showers for Chromie V? I'm 34, all of my friends are getting uh, pregnant, I don't understand what you mean. Oh, we lost Walter. <laughs> oh, this is, not Chrome, this is not a Chromie V baby shower. No, oh, no, 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 okay. this, is, this is a friend who's having a baby in October. Oh, okay, uh-huh. Yeah, so no, it's, it, we're, we're at that age where everybody's getting older and having kids, so. Um, went down, and when I say when it rains it pours, let me tell you. So, I picked this up. Ooh, at the accurate gun auctions, and this is something for you guys out there that are watching. I a lot of you will know exactly what this is, and I have wanted one for like ten years. And the market on these things is just going up and up and up. What and up is and it? Up. What is this? This is a this one here is a Winchester Model sixty two A. This one was made in nineteen forty six. It is a John Browning designed pump action twenty two. Oh, that's his that's old. Yeah, that's when my parents, yeah, both of my parents really were born neat. in 1946. Pump so. Action 22. This one's got a 22 inch barrel. Um, very, very nice guns. I've wanted one for a long time. So yeah. I bought it at a gun auction. I think you could send that one to me. I like it. 1946. Okay. 
Um, uh, you know, I was thinking maybe we could thread the end, but I don't know if it's last night. You've been buying um, a lot of these lately, I noticed, man. Are you... So, I, what I'm saying, when it rains, it pours. I posted this to our friend chat and was like, holy shit, I finally bought one. It, oh, by the way, it was like 450 bucks, which is not horrible for what it is. It's not terrible. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, holy shit, I finally got one. I've been wanting one of these for 10 years. Well, then, of course, Walter has to one-up me and go, <laughs> look at what I got. And he showed off a original 1890 Winchester. So this is based on the John Browning design from 1890 called the 1890 Winchester. And I was like, oh my God. And it's a, the one he showed <laughs> off was a real turdy turd that needs mm -hmm. a lot of work. And you know me, the first thing I said was, you better sell that to me because I want it. Mm -hmm. So he and I did some <laughs> And have I got a deal for you. Oh Lord. <laughs> it's wheeling and dealing. And I now also yeah. have a monster mm -hmm. of an 1890. This is a true 1890 Winchester. Um, this one is in 22 Winchester Rimfire, which is very obsolete nowadays. Uh, you can still buy it, but it's not common. So we're going to, and you can see it's missing a front hand guard. It, this thing is missing a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I got parts on the way to fix it. I'm actually going to convert it over to 22 LR. Um, the, the good way, the proper way. I got a, a old school Robot. barrel coming and a 22 LR lifter uh, coming. Uh, and that's really all you do. We're gonna put a new barrel on it, make sure it's it's headspace correctly, and then put the lifter in. And uh, that will convert it over to 22 LR so we can shoot it. Um, but yeah, you can see, here's the magazine tube, and it needs a bunch of parts. It needs, a, there's a lot that this thing needs. But we're gonna, we're gonna bring it back to life and make it shoot 22 LR and just, we're gonna take these out and blast the shit out of them, because I love it. Yeah. And um... then, Joe says it looks, it sounds like Hank is still jealous about the used Walther that Walter picked up. A little yes. bit, probably. Uh, along yes, with I that am. came this thing, uh -huh. which is in two pieces currently. This is a Harrington and Richardson uh, model of 1900. Uh, I just looked at the serial, uh, I just looked at the stamping on the side. It is a 1900. Uh, break action single, single shot shotgun. Very nice little thing, other than the fact that it is missing, like, 80% of its parts. So, mm -hmm. this is another one. We're going to find parts, put it back together, get it shooting, and then I, I talked to Walter. I might cut it down to, like, a like a coach gun type yeah. thing, 18 and a half. Yeah. yeah I think that'll be fun. I think that'll be pretty neat. Yeah, fuck yeah. That's, that's, yeah a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a trunk gun. or you know, you That's what I'm thinking. You just throw – and this is the type of thing that you can feed any sort of 12-gauge you want – and it'll just eat it all day long. It doesn't give a rat's ass. Yeah, so. it'll it'll kick you like a mule, but yeah, when you shoot some three inch <laughs> magnum through that, you know, yeah. uh, who is Damn. dropping? Is that Patrick? That was me. me. I dropped some stuff. <laughs> um so yeah, that was my weekend. Then we had a baby mm -hmm. shower, then we came home. Okay, very cool. Take very a gun cool. for me real quick. I can't reach um, the fucking weekend though. So let's see here. By the way, shout out to DCG and Primitive Hunter as they're coming in here. You guys can go to the Discord. We always throw up stuff from the Discord if you want to put it there. But I think actually right now I need to do a shout out to. Let me see. I got to switch over to my camera and do a shout out to Armin and Axis who gave us ten bucks. Hey. He says, here's another 3.333 for each of you on the 99999 show. 99999! <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, yeah. Um, and, and and like I was saying before we get into... Uh, what the hell? Okay, my AKV got stuck uh, in something down here. Okay, and there you go. I got a 9mm gun wrench here for you. Every time I go to my freaking solo camera, it does this nonsense to me. So I guess I can't actually... I don't know if anyone's even seeing that. That's yeah, probably well, on my well, end. I don't know. It's freezing up. So anyway, there you go. So 9mm AKV with the Scorpion mag. Oh, yeah. So, all right. Walter, how was your weekend? Uh, okay. Let's see. Hmm. Saturday, 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 Saturday. Uh, oh, first thing on Saturday morning, Spencer had a flat tire. Ooh. So, right in front of, well, he's got a tire that leaks out air and it got down too low. So, mm -hmm. I, I got one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it. I have, and, I have a tire that has a nail in it and I, I don't want to. On your, on your stang? It. 
Oh yeah, and it. Well, mind you, I have I work from home. I have a sixty gallon compressor, mm-hmm. so it's real easy for me to just go shh, air it back up like yeah, every three weeks, up. and then I just don't know. <laughs> Over <laughs> finding out why you have a flat. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, there's a nail oh, in it. Yeah. I know there's a nail in it, oh. but I'm just ignoring it. I need wow. new tires car- eventually. Anyways, I'm at fifty thousand mm-hmm. miles on these. Okay. His car was flat in front of the house. The tire was That's flat. So mm-hmm. actually, it came to me on Friday, and it came in the shop. My tire is flat, and he's like. I mean, a tire's low or something like that. Is it flat? Is it up? up? I know I, I had to get a, it's a yes or no answer, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I said, okay, Spence, we'll fix it later. You got a way to get around. You could ride with your mom. You can blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. So um, um, Saturday morning, mm-hmm. unfurled 100 foot of air hose plus 50 all the mm-hmm. way up to the front of the house. Mm-hmm. Psh, got lucky it aired up. It wasn't off the bead. Boom, aired it up. And um, so that's, that's how we started the day. And then I went over to the shop. And I made a mag two. Yes, baby. a new <laughs> SHF, uh, a new I, SHF product is about to drop on us. Folks don't so, realize, and I don't know if Walter realizes, but I am so highly impressed with how that thing looks. Like seriously, it looks freaking. Having a straight tube like that looks freaking awesome. How many rounds now? So, so basically, if you guys don't know, Walter, and this is on Safety Harbor Firearms on uh, Instagram and YouTube and everything. But Walt, you extended. Well, what, first of all, tell people what this gun is, right? Because this is a Turkish. Okay, this is a, a Benelli, a Turkish-made Benelli copy. This okay. is a G-Force Arms. They're mm-hmm. all made by, I think, Turkinelli. maybe one or, two, one or two factories over there. Yeah. Turkinelli, um, you said, Patrick? Everybody, Turkinelli, everybody calls yeah. them a Turkinelli. Turkinelli, Turkinelli. Okay. okay. So what they normally come with is a five-shot mag tube. So it, 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 there's, a, there's a limiter that screws onto the end of the stock mag tube, and it goes from here to there, and it's just aluminum. Doesn't let doesn't let anything go into it, so mm-hmm. it limits the capacity of five shots. So, you know, okay, you know, come on, guys. Yeah, that's. All I mean, it's a tube nine- fed auto, so you need more Im- rounds. Import laws, and it has to have sporting <laughs> purpose or some. Sporting, BS. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. All okay. this that's monkey business. And then everything so, you add to it has to be made here, right? Is that is that the same? Oh, like the absolutely. Nino, yeah. what was that thing again? Nino. I don't know what you're talking about. Continue what you're on about, Walter. <laughs> Go ahead and continue, Walter. So, <laughs> so what I what I did at first is I bought a Benelli uh, mag tube extension, and mm-hmm. but. On the Turkish guns, where the mag tube ends on a Benelli is different than on Turkish guns. So when you put it on the Turkish gun, it came out about here. And like, oh, some guys said they made spacers and all this stuff. I said, that's going to be funny looking with, a, mm-hmm. with the barrel nut out here, you know. So I took that one and I cut it off and I re-threaded it on the lathe. And I used that at first. It came out fine. But, you know, it's Patrick's like, you need to make a full length one. You need to make a full length one. You need to make a full length mm-hmm. one. Yeah. So I, 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 went, and I didn't realize. I totally forgot that. You have worked on 12 gauge before, so you have tubing. Yeah, ah, yeah, that's yeah, see, good. I yeah, I've well, I would have done that years ago for mine, but I I don't have 12 gauge steel tubing. Work, just sitting around. Working, Walter's working got with extras. The, <laughs> yeah, with the do, doing the keg 12 stuff, I had to buy tubing that I could make my mm-hmm. own mag tubes. You should have gotten I'm some like, scraps when you were over there, man. I, I know, I didn't think about it. <laughs> Go ahead, Walter. And I had I knew I had this tubing. I looked in the on the shelf where all the miscellaneous mm-hmm. tubing and steel is, and it's like bingo there's a piece of it so um uh, it's very similar to the turkish diameters od is the same the id and the the wall thickness is a little different so i figured out what the threads per inch was on the threading and i had a tool to cut that thread already from making the stuff for keg 12s Mm -hmm. so i i went at it there's a video on there's a video on safety harbor firearms of me making the um the mag Mm -hmm. tube the yeah. first one I made, I screwed up the thread on the end on the very first one. My own fault. <laughs> um, I show that in the video. Yeah, it's and a then, cool. I um, think it's a cool video. It's interesting to see how you I do watched that. the whole thing. I, and I you know, I'm really cool. surprised. It's 39 minutes long, and mm-hmm. I've had like a hundred people watch that. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's, I looked at that's it. a lot of people, that's a lot of people, hours of viewing time. People want to like, see. Uh, people like seeing technical stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I, I like I mean, it. I and mm-hmm. <clears throat> anytime somebody shows off technical work like that, I love watching it. Mm-hmm. Safety Harbor Firearms is not monetized because obviously I would get I would get yeah I would get fucked with as soon as I did it. But um, mm-hmm. so anyway, although yeah, they I can made, run I, ads if they want to. If enough yeah, people look at that video, they'll start running ads on it. Yeah. Oh, they you're will. Just, sure, they'll you're use, just not getting they, any of that money. <laughs> they'll use my time like a Trojan. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. um, 
I went ahead and made one. Um, I test fired it. There's video of that on uh, on YouTube and Instagram, I think. And then um, yeah, on yesterday, I fired up the park tank and made it all pretty as a you know what. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, you know, between me and Patrick, we could definitely get some videos up there and get Hell this out yeah. to the people. I see that there are questions. So hold on, let me see. I think uh, hold on. DCG44 says, Walter, are you actually going to uh, make the tubes? Because I need one for my mm -hmm. Charles Daly version. So I am going to make the tubes. Mm -hmm. I think I it, in, I correct me if I'm wrong. Of, they're all, they pretty much all come from the same Turkish factory, and then whoever wants you puts their name on it. They private label them, yeah. yeah okay, so, but would this also fit on an actual Benelli? Or is it just yes. the Circanelli's? Okay, okay. It, sh it should fit. I will know as soon as I see Patrick's gun for beta okay. testing. Right, right. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, and, we, yeah, it, I, it I would be yours. Yeah, I don't see why it would be any different in that respect. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yes, Next I'm going to make it. I'll bring it. I'm waiting to get a quote on tubing, and then um, I'm going to start knocking them out. So okay, cool. And I'll make I'll make mm -hmm. it affordably priced for everyone. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Able Defense Mike says now it needs a wicked knurled cap you can use as a standoff for breaching. Oh, you want like a, a standoff <laughs> you know cap for poking things? <laughs> yes. You know what I thought? You know what I thought about making? What? Any anybody like this idea? I make a cap like on a on a Mossberg 590 and make an attachment for a bayonet. Yeah, okay, I'm, I, interesting. yeah. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this: Would you also make the bayonet? No, 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 no. You don't want to get into making the bayonet? <laughs> no. No, we use a, they would use a, like an okay. M16 bayonet. Oh, okay. Oh, there's, and there's I a see lot what of you those. Mean, so it, okay. You see what I oh. you see what I mean, young man? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Wait, hold on. What should I Google here to take a look at this? Do like Mossberg. a Mossberg 590 bayonet lug. So okay. it's just an end cap, but then you also have to have the part at the back for the lug to click. Yeah, in. that would have to be a clamp on over the barrel of yeah. the mag tube. Okay. So, but um, mm. completely doable. Yeah, I think people, yeah, I love having you know, a, a Let's take bayonet. a look here. It's some image. Hey, bottom left, bottom left, or bottom right photo will get you what you need. Okay, so great, just David. imagine that thing on this thing. Yeah, yeah it's got oh. like a little nipple on the front that oh, uh, bayonet okay, there you slips go. onto. Oh, interesting. The, yeah, the mag cap, the mag cap that one is basically cool, the is the same as a Remington mag mag cap. Mm -hmm. It'll screw on there. So um, that the mag cap mm -hmm. threads on a lot of the shotguns are the same. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Focus on the, I would say focus on the Turcanelli market first, because Bonelli yeah. people are like HK people, where they, I have to have the Bonelli brand, or whatever, yes, exactly. Turcanelli well, folks don't give a shit. <laughs> I, I, I can only have a, 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 a titanium magazine, too. Yes, I can't yes, have exactly. except the titanium magazine. <laughs> well, you see what, they, what people want for those things? <laughs> Listen, you gotta look badass when you're yeah. at your three gun match, you know. Dudes, we got sixteen seconds, but dudes making titanium ones, uh, they're asking like three hundred and fifty bucks for the mag tube. Just the noise, mag tube. Noise. Yeah. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna take a break here. We got a bunch of comments and stuff. We will come back and get to that right after this. Walther Arms has been making concealed carry handguns for over 90 years, starting with the PPK. Today, Walther is based in the good old US of A and still builds quality firearms like the PPQ and PDP for personal defense and competition. So when you're in the market, please consider Walther Arms. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Move My Freedom podcast going without the support of great companies like Walther Arms. So this is a question from Shooting Gallery. He says, "Will you make the Keg 12 and 410 again?" Um, you know, I don't do. I don't have one of the damn 410. So I say yes. Walter will make them again because I don't have one. Go ahead, Walt. What are uh, you gonna do? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's not uh, official when I say that, but uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, damn it! Uh -huh. So, do you have any of the four uh, tens left? Because I never, I don't have any of the completed shotguns left. I still have. Holy, what the hell? I still have. I, I still have parts that I can use to make those with, but so I don't what, have any. Com the, uh, it's a special order. If nobody wants to put in a special order, they can get one. No, no, no! Don't start that either. <laughs> We're not even doing that. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> nine, okay. nine, nine. Nine, nine. You gotta remember something. Uh, mm -hmm. Somebody else is gonna get a phone call, and she's gonna be effing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, damn it! 
I remember when you were talking about that, and I was like, yeah, I need to get one of these in 410, and I guess I just didn't do it. Oh, Walter's going to check to make sure Peggy's not there. <laughs> oh, now he's telling Peggy. He's starting trouble. Okay, um... I'm getting a... <laughs> oh, I can hear Peggy. The CEO says no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there you go. That is your answer. Not not yeah. in the, not any time in the short term. No. no. Mm -hmm. I've just got yeah. too many other things going on right now. So. Right. Um, uh, Able term. Defense Mike says AFT has entered the chat. <laughs> no. uh, okay. So there you go. All right. So listen. Um, let's talk. So we do have. Uh, you know, what the hell was the name of this hurricane again? I just she was just talking uh, about Idalia or Idalia or Idalia. Yeah. yeah, the sun. Welcome the sun or whatever that was. Um, what's you guys what's you guys preps for? And by the way, while I'm asking this question, everyone out there that's watching us live here, tell us where you guys are if you're in Florida or even if you're not in Florida, you know, and whether what do you guys do to prepare for uh, Did we do a hurricane prepared uh preparedness well video let, this year we always do it every year i don't know if we did it this let's year. let's let's talk generators real quick okay patrick talk generators showing, real quick? yeah patrick is showing patrick. his generator <laughs> patrick run test tell you tell tell him about your generator and it, what's it it'll focus now, on me again, now he's not focused like, yeah uh what yeah so my 50 dollars generator thanks to safety harbor firearms picking it up off of facebook marketplace years ago uh i drained the fuel out of it last year and uh, put it back in the garage, stored it, and didn't do anything really that special. I just stuck it away. Uh, put fuel back in it, choked it, one pull, and it started right up. I was so impressed with that machine. And I ran it for about 30 minutes, just to make sure it's good. And yeah, single pull start. I was so impressed. That never happens. Yeah, you guys are welcome. Gonna, you're welcome. You're, gonna, you're welcome. <laughs> it's here. I'm showing it running. You guys I mean, I did. You so I will admit, it, I did running. rebuild the carburetor last year. Uh, oh okay. So that that's one thing I did. I I picked up yeah. one of those twelve dollar carburetor kits off of Amazon and rebuilt. Oh yeah. It. The the key yeah. the key to that one start one pull thing is at the end of the year, drain the car drain the gas tank and then run the carburetor till there's nothing in it. Just start that's what up I did. and let it run. That's exactly it what I did. I I drained the fuel lines, plugged it back in, turned it on, and let it run until it stopped running, and then put it away. That was and that's what of, I did. A lot of, a, a lot of the carburetors actually have a drain on the bottom of the of the little a little bowl too, and you can crack that thing and and drain the fuel out. I did the same thing with mine. I had the same story. Yesterday afternoon, I came home. I said, "I better start the generator up." I pulled it out. I put there was I put some fuel in it, and I'm like, "Going." Oh, I put it on choke, and I go, "Here it goes." Hopefully, I don't have to pull my arm off because it was hot outside. Mm -hmm. First pull, the thing fired up, and I'm like, I just I just stood there and looked at it. I go. This ain't real. This ain't happening. Feeling yeah. like yeah. feeling like a That's... Greek god. <laughs> you don't. One pull on anything carbureted is unbelievable. That is magic. And that, um... thing, that thing just sat there and purred the whole. And I'm like, hmm? I had to deal with these guys all day. Like, oh, I just started this one. I just started that one. I'm like, damn it. Well, that means I have to go out there and start my generator now, which I have not done. So yeah, I need to do. Part that. of part of yesterday was the half linger, my Swiss mm -hmm. vehicle that. Kind of like a Pinsgauer shrunk down. Mm -hmm. The half linger's been running like crap. I mean, mm -hmm. it just spitting and sputtering and barely moving. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, and the exhaust smelled really bad. The exhaust mm -hmm. smelled, didn't smell like gas exhaust. It didn't smell like diesel. It just smelled like crap. Mm -hmm. So I, I took my $9 Harbor Freight fuel pump, stuck it in the tank, drained out probably a half gallon. There wasn't much fuel left in the tank. But it was a yellow, stinky, you know, get bad gas smells oh. rancid. So how long yeah. does that? What's that stuff? You know, when I when I bought that generator from you, I think we made a video on this. Yes, we that did. That is probably yeah. on Stranger Palooza. There was some stuff you're using. How long does that last? Because I think that might well, still be in mine. The the it's gas that's not gasoline stable. really, that's like a, like white gas or whatever, mm -hmm. that lasts longer than regular gasoline. Mm -hmm. um, but. That stuff that was in the, the Halflinger gas tank mm -hmm. was... I mm -hmm. can't remember when I put gas in it last time. So it had, been in, it, it had been it had been sitting in there a while, probably a year old at least, at least a year mm -hmm. old. And uh, so I put some fresh fuel in it, fired it up, let it warm up like a new vehicle. Ran fine. Okay. So that's how my cool. day started. And that was a happy, that was another happy dance moment. You know? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here's a, here comes another happy dance. Let me uh, shout out 
Kurtz, 24. Oh, he gave us no, 30 bucks. He says, here, makes it easy to split up. Congrats, guys, on uh, 1,000 uh, next show. So big thanks from, from all I'm of us. I'm rich. I'm rich. <laughs> that money will be spent on guns. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I will be getting money? gun parts with so don't worry. It's going to be going into do project. I have, do I have to go through the, like, the... Uh... The, the time frame can space whole thing to get my money or something or what? No, just log into your account. That's it. Yeah, just talk to the player folks. If you don't have a way to get in touch with them, Lola uh, or I, Re reset your password, you. log in, yeah. and there's like a little payment thing that tells you where the money. Is. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Walter's not That's leaving all. that money on the side of the street. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I, He's not. You know, was a race just, to do that. <laughs> I just let it build up and get some compound <laughs> interest and build up and build up Absolutely. and build up. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, Kurt yeah, twenty four. One, one day I get. One day I get an ice cream. That's. Yeah, he's uh, Kurt twenty four says unscrew the bowl and dump it. I think he's talking about generators. Also says don't. Yeah. Have to worry about them hurricanes up here, in Michigan. So there you go. That's uh, where he's at. Um, you know, and then sh go ahead. Mm -hmm. They just had tornadoes and stuff in Michigan too, and bad weather. So, you know, it, generators for all. You know, it's like VD is for everybody. You need a generator. No thanks. It's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for me. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> I don't want it. Um, Shooting Gallery says, did you guys get evacuation notices? Sarasota County is supposed to evacuate parts starting tomorrow. So um, that's I got I got our county is under hurricane watch or something, but that's Sarasota's it. Sarasota is so far away from anything going on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, maybe, uh, okay, maybe if you're right on the coast, there's going to be a high tide and, and a, a little mm -hmm. bit of tide surge. But mm -hmm. aside from that, I, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I'm twenty. I'm twenty foot plus foot above high above uh, sea level here in my house. So. Oh okay. I'm sixty have... something feet above sea level. Yeah. yeah. So. The only thing that's going to get me and Hank is like an asteroid hitting in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. Or like a, well, a comet strike. So yeah. listen, we're going to get rains. I mean, I think a big part of even like Tampa is going to get rain. Gainesville yeah, gonna for sure wild. is going to get it. I'm um, actually west of Gainesville, so. You're going to get it worse than me. Yeah, I'll probably get it worse than you. So we're all going to get heavy rains. You could definitely oh, lose yeah. electricity and all that. Oh, but, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's very easy. Florida has a very well-worked-out um, emergency preparedness um, system going on here. The, uh, the governor, Governor DeSantis, suspended his campaign. Obviously, he better. Uh, and pay. I think he's doing a great job as a governor. Not necessarily a good job at running. <laughs> but he he's is a, a really governor, good governor. He's a governor, you know? Yeah, he's a good governor. <clears throat> and all the folks we have here are really good. They're, we've got in Florida really good ways of communicating. If you have ham radio, um, you don't even have to be licensed. You can listen to it and you can use it in an emergency. We've got lots of good stuff here. But um, one of the things they were saying in the press conference that they did today was, if you get an evacuation notice, it doesn't mean you have to evacuate hundreds of miles. Tropical storm Idalia gets forecast to track northward into the southeast Gulf of Mexico tonight. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. So that's that's ham radio. Damn it, I don't even have mine in here with me. But I do have a ham radio. I got a big antenna. Oh, there's Walter. There it is. You can talk, yeah. Yeah. Roger, Roger. <laughs> you could actually commute up and down. You can communicate up and down the state of Florida with the um, ham radio system, the, the airwaves that are set up here. But yeah, here's the thing I wanted to say about this. They were saying that if you're told to evacuate, it doesn't mean you have to evacuate like hundreds of miles. You could be safe just evacuating tens of miles. Go inland. So, All it is is go yeah. inland. Yeah. So if you're like, let's say, maybe you have to go further south. Maybe you have to go more east. You know, that's uh, that's really the situation there. Our son, our youngest son, is still in uh, college. He's at uh, UCF. He's probably good in Orlando. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although we went to see him over this weekend at his apartment, and the first floor of the apartment, that what was that hurricane that flooded out of Orlando. Um, oh, that was last oh, year. Yeah. yeah, well, they yeah. had all that flooding, yeah. Yeah, the the first floors are uninhabitable in those apartment buildings, and they're they redoing them. them. Oh, okay. No, they're not done, and they can't rent it to anyone until they're completely rehabbed. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. you know, um, you can get hit anywhere here in Florida. We're kind of, if you've been in Florida long enough, you're used to it. You just need to be prepared, like... I think in this van I have a generator. Plus, you know, I have this van. So, and this has a uh, like 540 amp hour batteries in it. Generator. I could charge it with the engine. I could do. I could yeah, take. I, I mean, could oh, run yeah. stuff off. Well, of you that. gotta do it. 
if your power goes out and you got no AC in the house, you just go get in the van. No big deal. Yeah, go. I could. I, I could do that. Um, you know, so... And then we do have a generator. Plus, I have a solar generator. Um, which is like a big, a big battery. And then I have a bunch of solar panels. So, in other words, it's a big battery. It can run a bunch of stuff. And then um, to recharge it, I could just put the panels out in the sun and recharge them up. It's going to take a while to recharge them, but... You know, um, I've got that as, as an option. The electric cars, like, uh, even the, if you've got an electric car, you need to charge it. Make sure you keep it charged up. But uh, the van, the um, electric van we have also has power. So that has a massive, massive battery on it. I'm going to also so. have to not uh, be using my cell phone too much on the toilet. Just in case we lose power, I don't need to be running out of Who the hell would you be? <laughs> Who would you be? On the turtle? On the turtle. The, watching if you the, lose checking power. the news, reading through Twitter, <laughs> looking at gun parts. That's what I do on the turtle. Yeah. Now, don't you have, like, wait, some wait, kind wait, of little wait, battery wait, you can recharge a, your phone with? Wait a second. Well, when I have I'm a on the turtle, when mm -hmm. I'm on the turtle, I'm using the, using the turtle. I know, I'm, I'm <laughs> scrolling. I do too yeah. much time. I waste um, too much time on the turtle. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I have found that it's the one place that nobody will bother me, so it has become my safe place. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Kurt24 says, been down in Florida at the mouse house when one hit, uh, it wasn't too bad. So there you go. By the way, um, Armin and Axis says he's in Ohio. There's stuff that happens in Ohio. They just, uh, had, they just, they yeah. just had some bad weather up there, too. Yeah. Um, let's so, see. Besides, uh, up north, they got wintertime, man. Yeah. It, they're they're predicting this winter's good. This coming winter is going to be a kick-ass one. So snow can mess you up. I grew up in New York City. We also lived in New Jersey. Snow will fuck you all the way yeah, up. I don't. If you I don't, don't think no, I don't like. I'll, I'll, <laughs> the hurricanes don't bother me. I don't like driving yeah. through snow. I do yeah. not like it. Yeah. Well, and so the gen set come in handy then too when it's snowing outside. You know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's no. There's. I can't think of any reason not to own some sort of generator. Uh, oh, and uh, this week for the Florida folks, it's a tax holiday. Yep. So if y'all are looking for hurricane preparedness stuff, hey. the generator is up to like three thousand dollars on tax free right now. Go get you something is, you need. Yep. Is the gov yeah, gonna sure. is the gov gonna turn off the gas tax for a while like he did last time? Um, maybe we'll once it hits. Yeah, we'll see yeah. what's up with that. So gas um, prices will drop like fifty cents a gallon. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, Kurt24 said, how big are your fuel tanks in the van enough for a long power outage? It's So the van generator runs off of my, of the, um, of the gas tank for the van itself. It's gas, it's gasoline. It's a 25 gallon gas, tank. That's right, gas, gasoline. Yeah, it's a, so it's 25 gallons, which is relatively big. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Primitive Hunter 18 says, check Discord, just got my generator, Hank. Might get one uh, one of these for the tractor. Okay, I'll check the Discord. Yeah, if you're in Florida, there is. The, does anywhere else do that um, tax holiday? You guys know? I don't know. Oh yes, I've seen these. I got, told you about that, Hank Strange. Yeah. I told you about. Uh, that. Yeah, he is said that for just got cutting logs. What yeah, is that? international three hundred utility. It's a generator, twenty thousand watt. Should what? be more than enough to power my house and then some. Yeah, oh, I might, yeah, I might want to get one I of these. Never seen, oh, that plugs into your tractor? Yes. Yeah, into I've the never PTO. Seen yeah, we I should. Uh, oh, I have. I, have. I bet you it's expensive. <laughs> um, there's a cheap a Harbor Freight one, isn't there? Isn't there a cheap Harbor uh, Freight one? That I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, we keep lots of flashlights, but one thing I would say, have canned food, water, don't panic when this stuff happens and go out to the stores because it'll be nuts and everyone will be nuts and people don't know how to deal with pressure. So, you you know, okay. store up fine. all this, this stuff this before be this. It's going to yeah. be fine. We could, get a yeah, few, we could get a few hurricanes this year in Florida. Mm -hmm. so. It's going to be good. We're going to yeah. ride it out. I'm going to have a beer on <laughs> Wednesday night while it's raining and it's going to be good. We're going to be fine. <laughs> Man, my bar worried. is stocked. I got more liquor than... Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need. You're going to be good. I got a chainsaw yeah. ready to go. That's the other thing. I need to uh, pull the chainsaw. I used it a couple months ago, so it should still be okay. But I need to mm -hmm. pull that and start it up real quick. Just I, I, got, I got my dad's electric one. So, um... mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a, a, we've got a little electric one as well, like a tree trimmer type thing. And yeah. I think Lola has... We have you a got couple a tractor. Of... We... You got my tractor. Oh, okay, yeah, you got a tractor. You're good. <laughs> Yeah, Walter was telling me before this. He was like, "You better park that tractor somewhere safe." 
I already yeah, thought of Marley, that. <laughs> I cleaned out the garage this afternoon so I could park the car inside, and I'm gonna have Marley park her SUV somewhere where that's mm-hmm. where there's no trees. <laughs> yeah. yeah, able defense. Mike says people need to chill out in general. Worst case, you die. Ain't that bad? It's probably <laughs> worst that case. Is true. You, fuck it. You're just <laughs> dead. Who cares? <laughs> once you're dead, once you're dead, the pain's over. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest about okay. that, right? What's mm-hmm. going on? No, you're good. Okay, yeah. and, and especially to be, you got to be chill, especially if you're the leader of the pack, meaning like mm-hmm. you're the the parent of the house. Because mm-hmm. if you're freaked out, guess who else is freaked out? Every fucking everybody else is freaked out. So <sighs> yeah. even if I even if you're freaked before. out inside, even if you're freaked out inside, just act like take it easy, big chief, no problem. I've you're, said it before. Yeah. I could never understand being raised by a family. Like being raised by parents who are just uptight constantly. Oh. That has to be awful. <laughs> where do you where do you think where do you think all these nutty Democrats come from? Yeah. Yeah. Listen. It's, it, it, it's like, breeding. It's breeding. If, if They're you, bred that way. You know what? If you um, grow up and you never get punched in the face, you're not a man. You know, you have to deal no, you have to ha- deal with adversity, right? It's like you have to go through you know you guys never got little, punched uh, in the face? I, I got punched a little, bu- a, a little bullying, you mean get yeah. bullied a little bit? Yeah. Well you know, you yeah. have to fail. You have to take losses. You've got to, you know, be defeated and learn how like, hey, yeah, it's not the I end of the world. Yeah. yeah. And this is not the end of the world. And no. anything that happens, if you do survive and your family's okay, everything else you can get through. Okay. Yeah, you can. And, you can. You, you yeah. can get a new roof. It'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. In Florida, if people if people truly go through things in Florida, we won't starve. There's food outside. It's called squirrels. There's, There's a yes, shit ton of people deer. People don't think about that, but yes, you're correct. <laughs> you know, it's raining. We can literally collect water. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. I mean, that's that's what I don't. Or people go to the store and they buy hundreds of bottles of water. Yeah. You know, all you need to do, like I have some military water cans, Mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. take the hose and fill them up. You don't need to go spend all that money on water bottles. Yes, you can use it later. Like when I buy extra gasoline, I got four or five cans of gasoline. If I don't don't use them and generate, I'll just pour them in the car. No big deal. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, you know, don't, don't fall for that. You got to go. If you're alive, everything's okay. It may be hot. You can open your windows. Oh, it'll be hot. Yeah. It'll you know, be hot. you can open your windows. You can. You, there's things that you could do. It's always better inside. Like our um, our AC wasn't working because what we found out was the air the air ducts collapsed to where it wasn't letting oh. airflow go through. So we temporarily fixed it, and we have to get. I think we're getting it actually fixed tomorrow, right before the hurricane, um, <laughs> which is good. But you know. And Lola was like, "Oh, it's it's hotter in here than outside." And then she went outside, and she was like, "No, it's not. <laughs> it's always better in your house. Open the window. Find, find you some shade outside. <laughs> find mm-hmm. you some shade outside. Find a chair. Have mm-hmm. a seat, and not don't think about it too much. Just relax." Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I agree with that. All right, we're uh, let's see here. Um, DCG forty four says military water cans are awesome. We got lots of comments coming in let me see uh um able defense mike says hey you live with chronic illness maybe consequences hit different i agree i have crohn's disease yeah. just have your medications and stuff like that ready be prepared and for what you I... would do in emergency with your thing we'll be back we wouldn't be able to keep the who moved my freedom podcast going without the support of great companies like high point firearms and full forge gear bags and gear for everyday life did you know high point is an american family owned and operated company located in ohio with over 30 years of manufacturing experience High Point is proud to be the home of the working man's gun and your source for affordable handguns and carbines with a lifetime warranty. So when you're in the market, please consider High Point. All right. Sorry about that, Walter. You got cut off. I think this is a good subject for us to talk about, though. Go ahead. Yeah, folks that have uh, issues where they need electricity for their health, that Mm -hmm. gets into a weird situation. You know, like they got machines and Mm-hmm. You know, you got to keep your, you got to keep your medical, uh, your meds cold and all that. You know, that mm-hmm. you it's really got to plan for that. Yeah, yeah. Like I have, um, I need a CPAP when I sleep. If not, I, I get pretty messed up, but that's why I have those big batteries I'm telling you guys about. 
just and I could some, always just you know, some, use those. Just get some toothpicks and prop everything up. <laughs> you could, yeah. There's also things that you you could do if you know. But listen, there are things. One of the things that I've always wanted to do, I have not done it yet, is a whole house generator. And yeah, I know I not everyone, not everyone can afford to do that, but it's a good idea. But you just have some backups, you know, and um, you can have a smaller fridge that you can connect to. Like I have um, Jackery make some good stuff that in mm -hmm. terms of these batteries that you could charge up now and then run things for a while off those batteries where you keep your medications and other things you don't want to spoil or machines that need to run. No, be aware of what your situation is and what you need. Okay? Because anything could happen. This is life. We live, you know, we're, we're just spinning around. We're on a rock spinning in the, in the freaking universe. Anything could happen at any time. And if you survive it, you got to move on. People had all these problems a long time ago. And yes, either they died if it's that if it's bad enough, which is tragic, or they just figured out how to soldier on. And they didn't have no satellite telling it was coming either. No. How did people figure out with the hurricanes back in the days before all this? Well, stuff? I mean, they they had you know like if somebody was in Key West, they and they mm -hmm. saw the storm coming, they'd get on the on the you know and so, well, they no, had, hey, we got this over over top of us. Yeah. So so yeah, then it was so they could so they would if they were tracking it, it would start out in the ocean then. And then boats and stuff like that were reporting on the weather I and mean, where it's going. Back in the old days, they measured barometric pressure and all that mm -hmm. stuff, too, when pressure started to do weird shit, you know. Mm -hmm. But they didn't have a picture to look at. Oh, there it is. Here it comes. You know, mm -hmm. you got 24 hours. You know, it's like all of a sudden it's getting start, It's getting cloudy outside and the wind starts blowing. It's like, oh. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Able Defense Mike says the old people with arthritis know <laughs> when they're coming. Um, listen, oh, yeah. I, I think it's it's valid. Every in these days that we're living in, everyone has some kind of medication. I've got several in my household. Every every single person has something that they have to do, and I'm pretty sure that's for everyone out there, including the guys who are here. You know, you you need to know your situation and your loved one's situations, and then ask yourself what would you do if you lost power, for example, for a day, two days, a week. Yeah, for two weeks. I mean, you know. Yeah, uh, and if things are really that bad, don't be afraid to like talk to your neighbors and stuff like that. There's definite. If there's more prepared people, I'm sure they'll help you out. The, those of us who prepare for things, and I'm not an expert, man. I've been learning that my ten year. It's been more than ten years now. I've been on YouTube doing what I'm doing. You know, uh, in the freedom world, talking about guns and, uh, you know, being able to being prepared for these things and all that. Um. You know, people do this so that they can help people to an extent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you gotta take yeah. care of your, your your own folks per, first. That's your first priority. Yeah. Um, you know, it yeah. doesn't hurt to have a charcoal grill or a grill to cook on outside when there's no, uh, you know, your yeah. house has got no AC and you you don't want to make your house even hotter inside by cooking inside. So mm -hmm. go outside, cook outside. You know. Act yeah. like a camping. It's a big camping trip. It, it is, is, yeah. That's what I yeah. think of it. Like, it's yeah, big... Patrick, we didn't get a lot of stuff from you. Hit us with your like your stuff that you like. What do you do to be? I uh, keep food that? and water, and yeah, I just try to think of it like I'm camping. That's really it. Mm -hmm. I take it as a day off of work. I'm camping. I'm relaxing. That's you know, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Do, so like you work from do. home. Do they let you be off from work? So yeah, they like I'm okay. Like, there's a hurricane power. coming through. I yeah. do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Eventually, the internet will go down, even if you have a generator. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, internet's going down. Oh, by the way, guess who has Starlink? As long as Again? I can power it, I have... No, I've been had Starlink. Oh, oh yeah, you've had Starlink for a while, yeah. Yeah, I've not... Because it's the best thing. I don't have... What is that nonsense you guys have that I hate so much that I wish I had? It? Oh, fiber optics. No. Fiber, fiber, fiber. <laughs> I don't have any uh, fiber lines over here, so the best I could get is Starlink at this moment. So, And Starlink will work. Well, no, that's not true either. But as long as I have electricity, I could use it on my end, but Starlink is bouncing. So if the main place that it's connecting to, which for me might be Tallahassee, which is that could be where it gets hit, then that goes out. However... If that gets hit and it goes out, it bounces the signal from another place. So it could bounce it from in Georgia 
and all that kind of stuff. So, the, you know, some of these things I think are cool, but you still have to have a way to power that. Um, Damn, man, I'm, I'm, I'm like running slow. My download was only 91. Oh, you're probably not on oh. the right internet. You might not even know that. Um, oh, and with water, I know Patrick was saying water. A good thing, even if you're not, even if you're like getting drinking water separately, water is awesome to store. Just store it in big empty mm -hmm. bottles for flushing. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, you know, a big thing, a good thing is plug the toilet, uh, plug the tub, and fill it up with water. Yeah, that's a good flushing there water. You yeah. Well, you you depend on your agua from a pump. So if you got no electricity, mm -hmm. you got no yeah. you got no agua. Yes. So, yes. Um, yeah. That's that's why I have a generator. That's why a generator. Yeah, but your generators. So uh, all I need is power is for to fill up the tank. So the way that my well, uh, well works, it's a big tank. It fills up. It's gonna I power know. itself for that time. And so if you could run power to it just long enough for it to fill up, then you. Well, could that's what I, that's what I was kind of getting at. I don't think you're yeah. you're not wired to hook your generator straight up to the. The um yeah I, you know what the last time i checked into this i thought i had i could unplug the thing and then plug it into something else but i'm not it sure of that i could be wrong yeah yeah if you're if you if your well is 100 well it's possible yes. yeah do you guys know how much i fight with lola about getting a whole house generator lola thinks it's completely unnecessary until tomorrow <laughs> this is this is what happens with me and lola no, that's not necessary. You don't need that. You know, I like we live in Florida. I will need it. You can. It can be in a thunderstorm in the summertime. The park can go out. It could be some dude gets drunk and drives down the road and runs into a pole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Primitive Hunter eighteen says he's got hand pumps as well, which that's probably a good idea. Yeah. The hand, the uh, hand pumps. Yeah. Pitcher pump. But we store, like Patrick was saying, we put water in the tub, we mm -hmm. we fill up bottles with water, you know, all that stuff. So, the guys, what what are those guys, what are they, linemen, what are the people called that are out there? Um, the you know, those dudes in the pumps? trucks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. linemen, yeah. Those guys are awesome, by the way. In, in the last several years that I've been living in Florida... When things happen in a couple of days, those guys have everything going. Right now, they're massing outside of the cone, uh, probably north and oh, south yeah. of it. Yeah, those oh, guys yeah. are awesome. Yeah. 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 When you see them at hotels and everything, be nice to them. <laughs> You're you going to need them. <laughs> if you like your air conditioning, you better shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> those, uh, I mean, you know, listen, they get paid for it and everything, but they do a good oh, job. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. um. I'm trying to see what other... Oh, do you guys want to talk about guns? I know you guys have a bunch of gun stuff that you want to talk about. If you're all... If everyone's mm -hmm. all prepped out, we can get into that. Unless you still want to talk oh. about... Mm, that's fine. Prepping, prepping things, you know, and uh, and prepped what is out. needed for that. Uh, it's very... It's the kind of thing that we kind of make it a tradition, and I think we didn't talk about it this year, but we do it. You know, and we challenge each other, and you guys could do the same thing. Patrick is showing food. We they we push each other. When Patrick and Walter are all showing off about how they started up their generators, <laughs> it makes me go, "Damn it, I gotta go out and start my freaking generator, mm -hmm. make sure it's running." <laughs> it's good for you. It, Walter talking about his reminded me, "Hey, I gotta drag mine out and start it up." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Peer pressure. It's a good yeah. thing. Yep. Most of the yeah. time, the except when people try to give you cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just make sure it's real good cocaine. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> the um, stuff now is laced with fentanyl and all kinds of shit. It's bad. Yeah. Oh water. my god! Yeah. Wow, it's terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Don't, don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. Yeah. yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> you know what's funny? This has nothing to do with anything. My Audi dealership is trying to. You know, like this is the last year they're making <laughs> Audi R8s. <laughs> and they, I just got a thing from them that they got like there's a special edition of the Audi R8. Uh, yeah. And they're like, oh, you know, do you want this thing? It's only twenty thousand dollars above list. No. Did have a even big if I did, even if it? I did, Lola will kill me. <laughs> no, it's not. A big, S, a big, a big S for sucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll never. You know, I'm not gonna say that I'm not tempted, but it'll never happen. 
No, no, no. Yeah, Lola has seen the value of a tractor. It's too whole, late. <laughs> whole, whole house generator is a lot cheaper, Lola. Hell yeah, hell yeah, cheaper. hell yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, so what what guns, what other gun things do you ha guys have going on? Do you, you want to show off some gun stuff? Gun stuff? If not, I will. If not, I yeah, will. Yeah. I'm going to show free, off some stuff. Free, yeah. So you guys remember our friend Roy, formerly of Brownells. He's not with Brownells anymore, but he's still my friend. And he's still out there. You guys will probably still see him on the show because I love Roy. Like a brother. Uh, you know, Roy and a lot of those guys at Brownells when I first, um, you know, when I... Actually, Roy is the guy I met at Brownells first. That's how I got into Brownells. I met him at the um, the Thousand Man shoot in Arizona. And he was just really nice and all that kind of stuff. So we're, all, we're always going to be friends, Roy. I, lo I love that guy. So anyway... Um, he was on, the last time he was on, before he left Brownells, no longer with them, but he's doing other stuff. He showed the BRN, and I don't know what's going to happen when I go here, so let's see how that goes. BRN, 9mm. Okay, I've got that in. Right? And we have been having discussions amongst ourselves of what to do. And um, I think a really good idea, since I have the Scorpion the AKV Scorpion mag lower is like this is kind of it's cool it's kind of heavy imagine heavy. if you can take this BRN 9mm and make something that you could put that magazine into Im imagine you know imagine if you could do that wouldn't that be awesome guys I do because right. you know I do there are there are places that make it. Oh, hold on a second. Boom! Oh, you got it. <laughs> yeah. So PSA. Uh, PSA well, has it. PSA has the thing. So there you go. Well, let's cut to the chase. Put the two together, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So yeah. Pull that tag off. Pull that tag off. So right now you can head. only get it as a full kit. You can only get this as a full kit. So you have to get the bar, which is the barrel and the upper. That's how it comes. You can get it from PSA. Oh, you got all that stuff too? Yes. PSA has a big sale going on. There's something. Uh, let me tell you something. I'm not kidding you. You guys know I'm an FFL. One mm -hmm. of the guys that buys stuff through my FFL bought a bunch of guns. I was so jealous from PSA, man, with the deals that he was getting, you know. so. stuff going on. Yeah, their sales are ridiculous right now. Check out, go to hankstrange.com and check out the uh, the links that we have there. And, uh, you know, you can save some money in some cases. You can send a couple of those uh, shekels in our direction. So now, as Walter is saying, I'm going to put the lower together and see. Now, obviously, I got to get the... Uh, I think this is going to fit, Walt. Uh... Oh, oh, look right, at that. Did the holes line up all right? I, I'm not seeing it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Hold on. Let me see. You gotta, you gotta, I've got, you gotta I got to take, there. yeah, I got to take the tag out, but it looks like it does. It looks like it's coming close to it with the thing in. I don't have a knife to cut oh, it out right now. I, should. I, know. I see a big gap. I see a big gap. Let me see. Do I need to... Do I have the thing to get this out? I don't have a knife right in front of me. I think it will. I think it will, Walt. It's really close. So, you know, we might be... It might be possible, perhaps. Maybe some machining might be involved, uh, Walt. I don't know. We might, yeah. we might have to make some slight, slight modifications. Yeah. yeah, we might have to do some modifications. Whatever we have to do, I will share it with you guys. You know what I was thinking, Walter Patrick? What kind of stock goes on this, you think? What well, kind of stock? That's, Some sort that's of folder, cool. I would imagine, we could put on there. Well, it could be a oh. compact entry stock, too. But oh, yeah. Be oh else. yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. Um, yeah, that looks good to me. I think that, that's... That, that lower is just regular thread on the back, right? Regular hole for a stock, right? And yes. Lower, right? Yes, okay. on the back. Okay. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, that's uh, going to be so, an SBR, so... It will be, it will be an SBR, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to, you know. Man, this gonna, I think this is going to make a cool gun, Walt. It might have to wind up over there with, uh, you know, 
at, I might have uh, to create. I might have to do some magic to it. Magic. Yeah. Say. Yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe I'll maybe I'll trade you some, you know, like a nine millimeter barrel, a nine millimeter <laughs> upper. Oh, look at that! You think uh, Babyface is the only one who can wheel and deal? I got some wheel and dealing skills. <laughs> all, all I gotta give him is a, another Colt revolver, and you'll freaking give me anything you want. <laughs> uh, where's where, wait? Don't you have a Walther? You ain't getting my Walther. No, no, no. Oh damn it! Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you um, mean you mean this one here and that cute little holster I got right here? Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Um, let's see. The what was that? that? Oh, here it goes. Up. Here it goes. Oh, look, look. Oh, nice. You know, I don't understand why Joe didn't hold this thing until he heard from me. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. No, 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 no. <laughs> you and Patrick's ass happened to be like re so ready to jump in that moment. Well, yeah. all, all I know is I know the phone was. You do not pass it up. <laughs> the well, phone was just blowing up, and I was like, "Damn it, some shit is going down with these <laughs> bastards." Once I heard it was a Walter, man, I was acting Joe so fast to make your head spin. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, yeah. Um, Kurt twenty four says just bought a Rock five seven. Uh, went to FFL yesterday to get it and got delayed first time for that, but think Nick's went down because three other guys got the same thing. Yeah, that's that's just about right. Yep. With that, so um, look what's laying around here, Patrick. Oh, oh, beautiful magazine. You know what it needs now? It needs it needs a Chromie V thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, does Chromie V have a logo yet, Patrick? Oh no, he doesn't. I guess I got to make him one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Yeah, we got to get that going. Um, did you get did you get enough of these Scorpion mags to to do some like special edition? <laughs> Are you did, asking me that? Yeah, yeah, Walter. Have you seen some good prices on these things? They're not very much. They never were very, very expensive. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean they're they're twelve, fifteen bucks a piece, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. These uh, these are nice. Yeah. No way. Eh? Yeah. They make a good product. Yeah. Metal State does. Yeah. So I need to get those guys to come on here sometime soon. I'm working on it. We'll we'll get them to come on and we'll we'll see what's going on with the PSA guys. But I'm telling you guys, there's some ridiculous deals. That um what is it? The Bobcat that Patrick got. I'm they, happy with mine. Yeah, they have that deal and then I think there's like a hundred and fifty dollar rebate. Oh daggers. They got daggers They've like been running unbelievable. daggers. I mean I paid three hundred bucks for this dagger when I bought it. And never mm -hmm. run them you can put them together for two fifty something now. I mean so yeah, yeah. it's uh, with all kinds of all kinds of fancy slides and threaded burrows mm -hmm. and all that stuff. You know, come on. Gold colors and all that stuff. Different oh, yeah. colored lowers, you know. Yeah, but they've got a lot of cool guns. They had a bunch of Kimbers. You know yeah. that Kimber revolver I got? They had it at a cheaper price than I paid for it. Where do you, where do you think I got this? Oh, you got that from this PSA? Book? Oh, don't this break up the camera. PSA. Oh, I, I bumped it. This yeah. comes from PSA on sale, man. Oh yeah, it was it was two ninety nine for this guy when I bought it. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to get one of those too, Walt. Since you're doing, <laughs> 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 since you're doing modifications, uh, shooting gallery says when you were in the same group chat, you have to just buy the gun, and ask questions later, Hank. Don't worry, still on the look for something for you. Yeah, I saw. I can always tell when Patrick and Walter there's some shit going on, because the the phone, the the text messages just blow up. And then Lola, you know, <laughs> but I happen to be driving and it's just blowing up like ding, 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 ding. You, you had been to the dentist and you were still under the Oh, yeah. Room. I was you're in loopy. the dentist. You're yeah, loopy. I was in the dentist. Yeah. So I, I remember, yeah, it was something. Yes, you're right. Yes. I was in the dentist and I had no clue what was going on. And then I'm reading through. I was like, fucking a Walther. Damn it. Spe speaking of that, you know what? Yeah. I have a dentist. Me and Peggy both have a checkup coming up at the dentist 
on mm-hmm. Wednesday. With Arms List, you can shop the extensive list of local and nationwide firearms classified. Now with more confidence because of their built-in firewall. For only $6.99 a month for personal use or $30 a month for business vendors. So when you're in the market, please consider Arms List. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Move My Freedom podcast going without the support of great companies like Arms List. Sorry, Walt, you got cut off. What was that? No, uh, of all days to have our uh, dentist appointment coming up, me and my wife check up mm-hmm. Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Wednesday. Now, yeah. I don't think I don't think the hurricane is going to be that bad in Tampa yet. But it, if it is, South Tampa is probably not the place you want to be driving around in during hurricane high water yeah. and all that stuff. So yeah. Anyways, we'll figure it out. Absolutely. Oh, by the way, Lola is telling me. <laughs> Don't Lola buy no said, guns. No, the <laughs> gas. Sta- so Lola went to the gas station that's right here. Now Lola drives yeah. a Tesla, so but she went to the gas station to uh, get some gas. Oh, I see her coming back actually right now. Mm-hmm. She said the gas station right here was sold out. Oh, they're, they're people okay, they're are starting to panic buy. Yeah, so there's a lot of that going on in Florida, but Lola's just getting gas for generators and stuff like that. Her. Her car is electric. Mine's electric. All I gotta do is plug it in, um, and plug mine doesn't in, have a big range, but it's got like a hundred and fifty mile range, which I don't freaking. If there's a hurricane, I'm not even going anywhere. You're not going anywhere if it's storming no. out. No, I'm not going anywhere. Lola may have to go to work because she works for the hospital, but uh, you know I don't have to go anywhere. So, but my kids, I've told them, and my younger son, I told him to make sure his car is full filled up, which he did earlier. But yeah, already sold out here, and I live in the country. Just to both, well, both how what how how was it for you guys when you went out to get gas? We, I got gas this morning, no problem. No line. No line, no nothing. Okay, Walt. Uh, I I went to Costco in the morning, and I I sent you a picture of the line. I think. Oh, that's right, morning. you did. Yeah, let me see. It, but it, it it moved relatively fast. It didn't take mm-hmm. too long, and I was out of there. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's Walt. Sorry. Walt did send me. Is that a picture? Oh no! This is an article about the fuel contamination here and uh, mm. <laughs> fuel contamination here in Florida. I'll pull oh. that up here in a second. Oh, here's hey, Walter's uh, line. Yeah. Yep, there I am. So it did, like I said, probably after that picture was taken, another ten, fifteen minutes. I was at the pump. Yeah, so, but uh, that's Costco, right? Because yeah, I can Costco. see. It. Yeah. yeah, you got a uh, three forty-two. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's not bad. Three forty-two on the uh, on the on the gas right there. Hey, what are you gonna strange. say? What's up? I just I'm on Palmetto site. They still got those shotguns for two ninety nine. Oh, Walter needs a okay. second. Yeah, there's a couple of things from PSA. I want the bob the Bobcat's cool. The guy that no. I that came that bought the thing through me, he had the uh, FDE one. It was nice. Um, the Bobcat's cool. They have some good man. They've got some nice stuff. Man, they got a red, white, and blue one like a flag for two ninety nine too. <laughs> <laughs> the shotgun? Yeah, it's America. It's America. What? <laughs> That's okay. the same model. That's Wait, same who model painted it? it? It's probably like hydro dipped or something. I would imagine. Oh, I don't know how okay. they. I don't know how they do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's Painters. interesting. It's yeah. not my. It's not my thing. I don't. I don't. Only one place you put the flag, and that's on a maybe as an emblem on your uniform and then up on a pole mm-hmm. you don't you don't wear it as a t-shirt you don't wrap yourself in it like a, a beach mm-hmm. towel and lay on the ground no mm-hmm. no 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 um so just staying in the news yeah i agree uh, so staying in the news um thing here we were just talking about r8s i sent you guys oh. this article <laughs> wrecked supercar carrier spills lamborghini ferrari audi r8 and more <laughs> Which you guys know this happened to me, right? I told you guys. Well, not really me, but oh yeah, well, yeah. When I, I was about. yeah, his when former, I saw his mm-hmm. former car got dropped off the back of a trailer. It wasn't yours at the time, thank you. It wasn't mine anymore, and it got totaled, <laughs> which was still sad for me to see. I, yeah, it was very, very sad. I was not happy about that. This was in England. I think there's the Bloody Goodwood, hell. the Goodwood <laughs> Festival hell. or something. All those cars oh, were on one thing. They were going to Goodwood. I think so. Yeah, yep. I was reading through well, the article. That's what they were saying. Um, that's some. That's something I want to do. I want to go to that. I want to go to that. I oh yeah, go me too. It. Yeah, but all of them, all of the supercars on one thing. You know, that's a recipe for disaster, right there. 
something yep. is going to go wrong when you put all the supercars into <laughs> oh, one. Yeah, ask, per, ask Pergosian about putting all your leaders in one airplane. <laughs> what would oh, happen? man. <laughs> Do we... So, um... So has Russia admitted they shot him? Well, that'll never happen. Oh, that was, no, 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 no. Engine that failure. A, that was an accident. That was mechanical failure. Well, that I think Putin, mechanical. like P Putin, talked about it, but he like gave us condolences or something because yeah, he doesn't want to yeah, get people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't want to get people in Russia. It's like, oh man, poor guy. Bless his heart. Yeah. <laughs> his plane yeah. mysteriously crashed on the way here. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, yeah. And you see that that like, like streaking white contrail. And then, the, and then an explosion, and then his plane falling down. Wait, yeah. there's video of the plane going? No, I didn't see that. Oh, hell see. yeah, there is. There's a big pipe. There's a big white puff of smoke up in the air, and then the planes come. Oh, no, that's a... People, it got, people it heard... Got tor it got torpedoed, except of the, the sky. The it got an ass missile. <laughs> the, civilians, the civilians heard the rockets going. Yeah. They, yeah. Putin yeah. ass missiled him, for sure. Oh, the, yeah. This guy's got to be nuts. Like, once you do what he did, you know it's over. Yeah, I don't know what you would think. Yeah. Walking dead. Walking dead. Yeah. You got to run and hide, get plastic surgery, make it, do like that German chick that's making herself black. Okay? Oh. You got to completely change. <laughs> Listen, you do you, do you want to get hit by a Russian hit squad? You want some Spetsnaz I, dudes taking you out? Yeah, no, I thought the same thing. I, I I don't know what he was thinking flying anywhere near Moscow. Crazy. I thought he was in Africa. Whoa. The last time no, I he, saw him, he was in Africa somewhere with the. He was, and going. then he came back, and he actually met with Putin. Mm mm. No. Then he killed him. Yeah, Putin met with him. He was like, he gave him the kiss on both cheeks. I knew it was you, Frodo. <laughs> you did, motherfucker. You broke my heart. <laughs> 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 your, ass, your, your ass is dead. Oh, I did not see this video. I'm going to have to look at the video. Oh, you, I, where have you been, Hank Strange? Uh, oh, I, was running been? I was I was running around. Damn it. Yeah. You're watching that stupid presidential debate garbage. Turn that shit off. I never, I never saw the whole debate. I've only seen things. First of all, I heard Trump won. Congratulations to Trump. He won. He didn't do the debate. <laughs> he got a mugshot. He won. <laughs> He didn't do the debate. Uh, yeah, this is when he he won before this. <laughs> you know what By the way, right did there? you guys? I sent you this. I animated that mugshot already, which I'm sure I'm not the only it. one. Oh yeah, you're not the first. Can't I sent it to you guys. It's not gonna play through here, but okay. yeah, um, this mugshot is on T-shirts already. I told Lola as soon as it came out. I think I told you guys too. I was like, this yeah, people did. are about to start making money off of this mugshot. So he want, but he, but you know what he did? He did an interview with Tucker, and that and it was thing, better. hundreds of millions of views. Yep. I looked at it. I thought Far it was good. Bigger reach than um, than what Fox News can get. Yeah, I thought that was good. The things I saw from the debate, it looks like Vivek Ramaswamy won that debate. You know, I think um, so. Yeah, I like Vivek Ramaswamy. And Colio Noir did an interview with him where he asked him about gun stuff. And what he said sounds good. He has no record, which I like. You know, people say, oh, he's got no record, so we don't know what he would do. But I like how he's talking about things. I like his point of view. He's almost like an independent or uh, a libertarian, mm -hmm. um, just I'd not rather as know crazy. I'd a negative record. <laughs> let, me, <laughs> you know? yeah. let, me inform, let me inform you people that are worried about the guy's got no record. All the ones that have a record don't do anything anyways. True. Exactly. Well, we know they don't do shit. That's on the and record. They don't do, and they don't do what they do before they get elected. Tr once Trump they get elected, was better. They... Trump was better than a lot of these mofos, and he had no yeah, record. Yeah, he he, yeah. he he wasn't perfect. I trust me. We don't even need to get yeah, into it. Yeah, I'm not yeah, happy but, with Trump. But, but let me yeah. see. Let me see. Remember what gasoline and bacon cost back then? Just that's <laughs> all you got to remember. Oh, I don't want to think about it. You'll never <laughs> see. You'll never see those prices again. Uh, you have to. You have to uh, make an environment that that is friendly to to people that make yeah. things. And right now, it's not favorable to people that make things. I thought it was and good. I thought I I was going to say this. I thought it was good that Noir did that interview with him. I like to see more of that stuff. I yeah, like to see yeah. someone do that with Trump and whoever. I would like to see someone do that with DeSantis. But these other politicians are playing a stupid game, and I think. Uh, 
Ramaswamy is not doing that. Obviously, Trump is not doing that. He's completely different from that. Um, I did see someone saying that, you know, because I think Trump messed up a lot. And there's people who are like, mm-hmm. well, it, you know, he he did make a lot of mistakes and maybe the next time around it would be better. So that has something to do. He didn't really realize what he was running into the first time, what he was getting into. But uh, I, I don't know, man. As a gun guy, my faith has not been restored by anything that Trump <laughs> has said. What what people want, that's why a lot of people like Trump, is because... If, when he was running, when, when he was running, he said what well, was right on the top of his head. Mm-hmm. Whatever he thought, it came right out of the mouth. I respect it that. Was like, and and mm-hmm. I want to know what the guys. I don't want him to. Well, uh, I, 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 I'm so sorry. Uh, 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 it's like fuck that. I don't want to hear that. Tell me what you really think. You know, yes, I don't want, exactly. I don't want you apo- I don't want a person who apologizes for everything <clears throat> to everybody. But let's look at some of these other people, like um, Chris Christie was in that debate, the former governor of New Jersey. Fuck that guy. He's a freaking joke. He, yeah. He ain't going nowhere. He's just looking for more donuts. That's all. Yeah. Hey. Mike Pence. <laughs> I was about to say hot dogs, but sure. <laughs> yeah, Mike Pence was in that debate, and I, used, a, to, I, I used to like Mike Pence. Back, but, he's a yeah. backstabbing son of a bitch, too. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. The romance yeah. with Mike Pence is way over. Yeah. I don't want to see Mike Pence. I'm trying to think who else was there that I recognize. Um, um, the woman from the, the Indian Swiss chick. Um, I forgot what's her name. The Indian um, chick. Yeah, I know she's technically Indian. Um, oh man, damn it! I can't Speak. remember her name. She she had some good stuff to say. They got. What I she saw got so mad at Ramaswamy for saying that she's gonna just go back to um, Raytheon or oh you know if you don't get elected you're just gonna get back to Raytheon or uh, or Northrop <laughs> Grumman or something like that. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, and I think people um, got mad at Ramaswamy because he said something that they said sounded like what Obama said, and they hit him because he said, "I'm just well, a skinny, I'm just say, a skinny oh, Indian only kid." Obama can never say anything. It's yeah. Why, why can't he say he's just a skinny Indian dude? That's what it, he is. It, 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 the the way the left works is if if King Obama said something, then God forbid anybody ever. So said if Chris him. Christie, Chris Christie is the one who hit him. Who I can't stand, Chris Christie. If Chris Christie came up there and said, I'm just a fat fuck from that used to be the governor of New yeah. Jersey, is anyone going to be mad about that? So nope, if the they guy... could care less. Because he's, he's white. But if the guy, the guy... Okay, is he skinny? Yes, he's skinny, Ramaswamy. Okay. Um, is he, you know, is he Indian? Yeah, why can't he say... Why is he now like... He's nothing like Obama. Um... He's nothing like Obama, but we could all say shit. You know, in the it's same... All, it's all ridiculous, and they, you know, if Obama said something, you yeah. can't repeat it. Now, yeah. that's, that's good oration, though, is taking from the past and and using it. You know, using old old speeches and stuff to harken back to a better time, or to harken back to whatever, you oh, know? Because it connects in people's brain, you're saying, psychologically. Right? Like, when you say something like that, someone connects yeah. with it. Yeah. Um, oh, Nikki Haley. So uh, Armin and Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley. Haley. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't hate Nikki Haley. Uh, you I know, don't like I, her. I, I, I have nothing to like about her. There's zero yeah. that I see that. I, like. I think she kind of made a good point that she said that the the super conservative side of the Republicans that it's like everything is the is abortion. They don't give a shit about the Second Amendment. They don't care about other things. But to them, everything. We, like, listen, I'm anti-abortion. I've always I've been that yeah. my entire freaking but- life. But, but that mm-hmm. doesn't make the country run. That no, put no. I think it's a ba- it's a fight we don't need to have. We kind of settled that, and moved on. If people want to kill their own kids, fuck it, let them do that's, it. That they, doesn't make God, God, God will right. sort you out. God will sort you out. Exactly. No, I agree. That's the libertarian <laughs> that, side. That yeah. doesn't fix problems we're having. It's the abortion issue is a distraction. Yes. It is. It is. Yes. So she was talking about that, and I agree with her on that point. I agree with that. That I think that these super conservative people go for some shit that is not necessary. That, you know, come on. Because really they don't can't. Care. They, they, they want to go in and re-secure marriage. Okay. You know who, you know who re-secures marriage? The person who is married does that every freaking day when they wake up. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not an issue that makes the country more secure it's not an issue that brings the economy back up it's not an issue that that helps people out that you know that need the uh, cheaper bacon um it doesn't yeah. 
It doesn't. Why? But so, can you guys? Do you guys have an idea of why they keep doing this shit? Because it's easy to start talking about. So people are that. So folks out there are that, and they would rather lose their rights to defend themselves, but stop people from being able to have abortions. That's what they feel like, you know. That that's how they they look at that. And I'm telling you, I am vehemently my entire life have been against abortion. I, I believe personally that it's a sin, but it's but you know, there's things that ultimately I are in God's against, hands. I'm against the government being involved slash paying for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If yeah. you want to go do that and pay the, it, long as it okay, not when not not what like the dumbs do when the baby's being held out by one. And it's mm-hmm. aborted, right? Absolutely, so yeah. Um, yeah. But no, I mean, no one, no one wants that. I think, I like, we need to give. Th- what else do we have that's valuable, right? I agree with that. Like, our children are the most valuable <laughs> thing. But human beings are making stupid decisions all the time, and they have to suffer for these stupid things that they do ultimately. And some of these things, the universe will pay you back for that. Look at play. Look at Japan. They're running out of people. Look at China. China tried this on a mass scale <clears throat> to limit how much people, how many people were there and all that. And that fucked them up. They're off that. And now their population is getting older yeah. and they don't have... Yes, so if, um... if, if we're going to do... Look, Mike Tyson, the philosopher, <laughs> he, said, he said something that I thought was really deep, and I'm not kidding, about this. He said, you know what's funny? If you go to the hood, there's nothing but abortion clinics. So up in the hood, black people predominantly, right? Blacks, Latinos. It's not really that much many Latinos, but yes, a lot of black, black people. Yeah, black people mostly killing off our babies. You go to Hollywood though, there's pregnancy clinics. <laughs> Margaret Sanger. <laughs> They're trying to have babies. You Margaret know? Sanger was a eugenicist. Mm-hmm. She believed in eugenics. Nobody wants to talk about that. Margaret Sanger's a person who founded Planned Parenthood. Actually, mm-hmm. actually, the old Bush family people were the same way, actually. Yeah. Yes. A so, lot of them are, and people don't, oh, no, yeah, no, they are. Yeah, they, but they, ultimately, they, when I have this conversation with people, I say, listen, I don't believe in it, but if you want to kill off, if they're out there screaming racism, okay, and, and racism is a thing, it exists, but if you're out there screaming that, and at the same time, you are killing off the people who are genetically the most... No one is close to you like a child that you're having. There's no one closer. Yep. <laughs> so if you're out there killing th- your own your own self off, and you're screaming that, there's something wrong with you, and you will that will, that will be dealt with in the future. I just yep. think that they pin everything on it. They pin everything on that, and I agree with that. And meanwhile, fuck our ability to defend ourselves... And all yeah. other shit. They're all in. Republicans. Super conservative Republicans. All in on this bullshit where we're just spending all this money going to the Ukraine. Okay? To me, that's this is something that Trump said, right? I get it. I understand, Walt. I'm a gun guy. You're a gun guy. Patrick's a gun guy. We make money, in a sense, off of guns. But I think that, obviously, this is just a play for money that Biden set up when he was vice president. That's my opinion. I think a lot of people out there would not argue with me on that. It's very ironic that Biden set this whole thing up. It's 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 on the records, well, right? It's He's, it went past Biden at this point. So Yeah, um, but Republicans are down with it. Way, way past Biden. Yeah. So um, how is it there's no money in America for stuff that's going on here, but there's money to send to the Ukraine? There's never been money for here, Hank. Whether it's Ukraine, whether it's Central America, whether it's uh, this, that, the other, uh, starvation in Africa, telling African men how to wash their dicks, it doesn't matter. There's yeah, always I'm money not with for- that either. Yeah, everyone, <laughs> if, if you're in other places, you're on your own, bro. <laughs> there, there's, there's always money for everybody else. Listen, if, you wanna, if you're in the if desert, you- wash your dick with sand. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> Pound it with sand. Pound it with sand. <laughs> it's no, but, but you know, you know, we got We got to save the, uh, the the earthworm in this, you know, this, you know, this yeah. place and the and the mole cricket and all this garbage. There's always money for that shit. There's Listen, no we literally that. not we, the Biden administration, the people running the Biden administration and immigration, they literally welded gates open on the border. 
Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> but we are work? spending trillions of dollars for someone else to defend their border. I don't know. I, again, I keep saying this. I don't know the end goal here other than maybe importing more voters. That's the only thing I can think. Like, what else could be the end goal? For chaos. 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 I, would, I chaos, agree with yeah. both of you. Chaos, yes. chaos, chaos and more people. voters that vote for you Two, and vote minus. for their own destruction. Yeah. Ten. Nine. Eight. No, no. It's all Take of the let above. It, go. Five. it makes me mad, though. It makes me mad, and it makes me mad that Republicans are with it. We'll what? be back. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Move My Freedom podcast going without the support of a DAO or decentralized autonomous organization like Tusk Crypto. Tusk Cryptocurrency is a firearm friendly e-commerce option for online payment transactions secured on the blockchain. So when you're in the crypto market, please consider Tusk, T-U-S-C. Um, DCG44 says, forget Dems and Republicans, it's now Americans and traders. Some people are trying to destroy what we have. People want to destroy instead of. I think America. Look, I'm, my my family are immigrants. Walter, He's you country. came from a family of immigrants. Uh, Patrick, you're yep. Yep. same thing. And everyone in America is is an immigrant unless you are 100 percent Native American Indian. And even those people, if you go back far enough, immigrants. They came from somewhere else too. So. <laughs> um, yeah. So, where the hell was I going with that? <laughs> um, you know. The thing is, oh, I, this is what I was going to say. You know, my family gave up everything that they had for generations, you know, from my mother's side that her family had built up, my father's side, the same thing. I mean, he, he didn't really have a family, but, you know, um, he did. He had a family and didn't have a family, if that makes any sense. He had a massive family, but didn't have it. Regardless of that, they walked away from Guyana and everything that they had. Um, and we lived in other countries before we came here. We lived in Nigeria. My parents were doing really well over there, and they walked away from that when, when we came here to live. And um, I, I saw what that was, you know, like my father having a master's degree and sweeping and mopping floors and all that, and he did it for freedom. Why are we pissing that away? Why even, even someone that's trying to get over the... I get it. You're trying to come into America. I get it. This is the greatest uh, experiment that ever happened with true democracy, <laughs> with true freedom. Why do you want to fuck it up? Why don't you want to make it better? Why don't you want to extend it? Back to you. I don't know the answer to that. Your their better is not your better. Maybe, maybe that's part of it. Yeah. Um, well, maybe like Walter said, see, chaos is the opposite of freedom. Right. And and all that and all that you know you, I need I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. Liberty. You need to make Liberty. it safe for me. Yeah, well, when there's chaos, I, I people give this. up there's their freedom. Between, mm -hmm. There's a difference between freedom and liberty. Chaos yeah. can go with freedom, because true, pure freedom is anarchy. So there's a difference. Liberty is what I agree with. Yeah, you need to have you need to have someone some sort of rule. In, yeah, <laughs> in a, a couple rules and a couple people in charge of something. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, you know. Um, but as, always, as, there's if you have any kind of faith. In, in a power external from yourself and respect for for your fellow man, then there is that, right? Yeah, I mean, the ru every, the rules we need are basic. Don't steal someone you know, else's shit. Don't well, murder. Those ten, those, those ten commandment things are pretty good. They work. That's well. basic, dude. For a long right? time, yeah. <laughs> there's a reason it those works. are around. And I'm gonna yeah. say it again. There's a difference between murder and kill. Just remember that. Absolutely. You know, so. I don't really, you know what? I don't actually believe that people are trying to come to America to piss that away. I, my, my parents <laughs> didn't do that to piss it away. They didn't do it, and they don't believe what I believe, right? Because they were programmed by a socialist country. Like Guyana is no different from Cuba or any other place. They were programmed by that, but they knew that there wasn't freedom in those places. You guys, you guys want to uh, change just a quick, uh, yeah. quick topic change mm -hmm. that's kind of funny. Chicago mayor sues Kia and Hyundai. You see this? No. For what? Oh, Kia oh, and Hyundai are now getting lawsuit. Failed. Talk about labor law stuff. Failure to in install basic auto theft prevention technology in these models is sheer negligence. So it's oh, negligent it's... on Kia and Hyundai. <laughs> what, so auto and I, what auto theft? What auto theft can theft. you do? Yeah. What auto? What so can you do? So if the hood rats are stealing cars, it's the automaker's it's Kia's fault. fault. It's not the but what else can they do? Every car has an anti-theft system. <laughs> do, it, do, 
Hondas and Kias are some of the most advanced cars on the roads of America. I've owned Ten hours several ago, of them. Chicago mayor mocked for suing automakers. Yeah, and, and this costs the city money to get the lawyers involved. This ain't free. You don't just file a lawsuit for free. But but all, but none but none of, but there's every single Honda and Kia has all kinds of um, oh yeah the stuff the in impact it yeah there's a safety there's a safety thing called it the key doesn't go in the ignition it shouldn't start but they yeah. don't give a shit about there's that. also alarms. Yeah. There's all kinds of anti-theft devices on all these Quote, cars. It's been impact, standard since the late 80s. Quote, the impact of car theft on Chicago residents can be deeply destabilizing, particularly for low to middle income workers who have fewer options for getting to work and taking care of their families. Why Jonathan don't said. you punish the fucking car thieves? <laughs> the failure you throw, Hyundai throw, to install throw basic jail car for theft prevention technology in these models is sheer negligence. And as a result, a citywide and nationwide crime spree around automobile theft has been unfolding right before our eyes. Kia no. basically wants you to steal their cars. That's what he's saying. No punishment. <laughs> this is insane. That's insanity. Yeah. Because it's not their fault for releasing prisoners, for not punishing people who commit these crimes, and putting these Probably. people back on the streets, and then basically telling them, you could do whatever the fuck you want. It's not their fault for that. It's the fault of the companies who charge you a shit ton more money to get the car because they have to put all this anti-theft shit well, in it. You ro you robbed that bank because that Chevy was easy to steal. Well, they That's keep, what it was. <laughs> they keep <laughs> giving you that bullshit of, the only reason people steal is because they need something. Really? You really think those hood rats that stole our diaper bag just needed that bag of diapers? You can't give they people really enough. Did. You can't give a person enough. I could just tell you that right now. Well, yeah, you could. You you probably could give them enough rounds. Uh, <laughs> I sure mean, how many is. nine pellets of buckshot in that double lot? Yeah. yeah. You know what it reminds me of, and I wasn't necessarily going to get into it, although I was talking to you guys about it. This whole thing with Tyrese. I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if I Walter... Just, I so just can't give that much of a shit about some retard like Yeah, that. so he's Sorry. an idiot. Tyrese is an actor, right? Black actor. Um, and there's this video, this is on Instagram, you can see it. He had this issue in a um, Home Depot. Oh. So here's okay. the thing. So I saw, like a week ago or two weeks ago, I saw that he, right, was he, was he was suing Home Depot, right? And he was suing them. I heard he was suing them for racism. He went to Home Depot. They were you, racist to him. You oh. see the baby over there? Look, who's that? Oh, Doggy oh. Dad baby. Who's <laughs> that over there? He doesn't like seeing himself <laughs> at all. He's <laughs> yeah, he can, over there. <laughs> he can recognize himself 100%. <laughs> he loves it. He loves yeah. looking at himself. All yeah. right. He needs that. Uh, where did he get I that from? Real, huh? like, I really like to watch myself. <laughs> right. Yeah. He's like, who is that handsome devil? <laughs> yeah. No, you put him in front of the mirror after a bath, and he's like, oh, look, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so listen, so Tyrese, I heard he was suing Home Depot because they were racist to him. And I was like, what What happened there? This is in California. This was is California. that about where he, where he sent his people in with his credit card? Yeah. Here's the yeah. thing. He was in... The, so, so video came out now, and this is what happens in life. So, you know, now we're recording shit. Um, so video came out. He was in Home Depot with his entourage. He became concerned because he was there that they might be a riot or something because everyone recognized him which you can see in this what? video was not happening so he left his entourage and gave them his credit card but when they go to run the credit card the person at the checkout at the at the uh, register said hey i have to see id with this credit card now obviously the entourage doesn't have that so tyrese had to come back in and show all he had to do is come back in show his id and go yes that's my credit card i'm just outside you know here it goes Racism. Nice. So if you if you look at this video, <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, if you look at this video, he's literally talking to some people who are not all you. I mean, we, we could just look here and <laughs> look see. Look at her head. Look at her head cock. She's, she's like, like what? what? <laughs> and he's literally telling these people they're racist. He's like, I'm not a racist, but you and I don't you know are. you, but you have you're giving me racist vibes. <laughs> 
That's why he says it. What? Because what? they asked him for ID because these mofos are probably charging a lot of stuff on a credit card, and that's company policy. That's because... Well, you don't do that for white people is basically what, the, what he said. Well, that's racist that you're using company policy. It's only because I'm black was his basic argument. I'll tell you okay. something. Okay. So you don't go any... Like, I go buy a lot of stuff and use credit... That's all I use is debit cards or whatever, credit cards. Yeah. And every now and then someone goes, can I see your ID? You know what I do? Yeah. I don't go, give, you racist sons of ID. bitches. <laughs> yeah, he's over there... T this is what he's telling them on the... I don't know who put this out. It has to be him. It has to be his people that put this out. And they oh, don't yeah. realize how stupid they are. Yeah, he's telling, it doesn't make him look good. He doesn't realize that. He ran dick wham on them. He was like, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Your, your CEO of Home Depot is my neighbor. That's what he's telling them in this thing. I Dude, just said, hey. show the fucking ID and move it. Keep those it moving. People, <laughs> those, those folks make probably nine or ten bucks an hour. They don't deserve to have to have that loud mouth come there and <laughs> talk shit hey. to them. That, what is this hey. bullshit? And everybody doesn't know who he is. No, I've or, never seen his face before. Or if he walked two past shits me, who he is. If he walked right past me, I'd go, yeah. Okay, I but I'm sorry. I can look at this video again. I might be wrong, guys. I'm pretty sure in this video, if I look at it again, I don't see him wearing a crown or with a <laughs> scepter. Um, or, you know, he doesn't have uh, wings or anything. He's just a dude with a fucking hoodie getting mad at some Home Depot employees that some of them look like people of color. They look Latino and different things because they asked him for ID, which is dumb shit. <laughs> it's dumb shit. Just show your ID. That's it. Here's the ID. Okay, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> That's their job. It's literally their job. Now, let's say, for example, these guys charged up 20 grand worth of stuff and they, they just showed the card, and yeah, and then later on he comes back and goes, well, that wasn't me, someone used my card. That's the reason why they're asking you for ID. Because <laughs> that the happens all I, the time. The reason why I say ID is because people are constantly trying to rip this place off. Yes. people. Well, people are cloning credit cards, but he's so stupid, he doesn't, like, it's simple. Oh, okay, that's what you guys need, the ID? Here it goes. Here you go. Nice but for day. some reason now, it's racist to say, oh, show me the ID. Who the fuck pays for all the, the, the credit card fraud? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? The first thing you go to is people try to be racist because they ask you for ID. How dare you ask me for ID? <laughs> you know, I've come to the conclusion here in America, the word racist is like, you know, it, it's it's the it's the... It's like the like the Russians use Nazi. Like it's like to the Ukrainians, everybody's yeah. a Nazi. That's their keyword over there. Over here, our or it's like you fight gay. with your girlfriend and she goes, "You're gay," <laughs> <laughs> and you get mad. I mean, there's women who try that. Like if it bothers you, it bothers you. Me personally, that's not gonna phase me. But pe it's just a button that people want to push. You're but gay, you, but I you guess. can't use that because you go to charge a whole bunch of stuff. There's a whole bunch of dudes. Who are trying to charge something, and the per and the and the machine is literally telling the employee ask for ID. Yep. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Then this yeah. becomes a whole lawsuit. And you know what's funny? Yeah. In California, a jury is probably going to go, "Yeah, they were racist." So in California, when they try to make you go through all of this to get guns, you should just say, "You guys are being racist." I, I should be able to have any gun I want. Otherwise, you're being racist. If only it worked that way. Uh, that wouldn't work very good. Yeah. So I don't know. It's so it's it's really silly. If you're with your entourage and you leave because you don't want all the ladies coming in and getting crazy because you're a superstar, which I didn't see. I didn't see in that video. Yes. Nobody superstar? knows you that. I have no idea. They're looking at him like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. They literally they're sitting there like. Who are you? I He's like, know. I've known you people for years. I've come in here for years. They don't fucking know. I don't know and, who you and are. And also, You're if they don't, patron. if they know you, but here's the thing about that. If I'm a lawyer, I'm going to go, oh, so you've been coming in here for years. They know you. Maybe that's why when someone showed your credit card, they yeah, said, can I see you. ID? <laughs> and it ain't you. <laughs> Was it you giving your credit No, it wasn't you. So whoever's giving up a, the credit card needs to show some ID. Sorry. 
This is how it works. It's racist. It's racist. <laughs> because you could come back later and go, this $100,000 that was charged on my yeah. credit card, can you show me the vi the video of that? Because that's not me. That's not me. Yeah, it's not me. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's just really fucked up. And whenever you see a celebrity, okay, who is Throwing getting them. mad because of celebrity... He's not mad because they said, sir, you're black. Mad, we don't trust mad you. Because they didn't know who he was. <laughs> yeah. You're mad that they didn't kiss his feet and go, oh my God, you're the guy from that movie that nobody yeah. fucking watched. We should know. He's so famous, movies. they should know his entourage. Holy shit. Somebody, <laughs> somebody, somebody, said, somebody should have said, you're Vin Diesel? Yeah. <laughs> it's a totally, Vin Diesel's a, different, a totally different shade of brother. <laughs> from a different mother <laughs> it's so stupid it's so stupid yeah it's funny when I see these things and people getting you know but uh, but listen Hollywood is literally a place I saw someone talking about this where these celebrities they talk all this shit about you know uh, all the woke shit and then they'll literally make the people park in their cars cry they'll make their, their <laughs> servants and maids they're all, they're their all assholes to begin with yeah. and they're all Terrible people. Terrible yeah. people. Yeah. Terrible. The funny really part, I, I would I would recommend humans. people go look at this video. He literally says to these people, I'm not a racist, but you, you're giving me, and I don't know you, but you're giving me racist vibes. <laughs> what was it? Did know. they have He's some white sheets? Did, were they burning some crosses? <laughs> Did they have like KKK on? <laughs> What was it that they did that... Oh, no. Can I see your ID? I think they're not. The folks, the folks that yeah. complain that cry racism like, racism like this are usually the racists. Yeah, so it's just Nobody funny. Nobody gives but, a shit about you. But <laughs> it's, that same, it's that same thing. It's that same thing with the cars. It's that same thing with the cars. It's not the people's fault who are stealing the cars. It's the car's fault. Oh, of <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's the gun's fault. You know whose fault it is? The credit card. Yeah. <laughs> I could not control my urges because of that card. The store. You, have you heard people, there the are people that fault. act like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, the they, store's they, fault they, for they checking ID. They don't have a problem with Home Shopping Network or anything. It, it, they don't have a problem. It's Home Shopping Network. It's so easy. Yes. I can't, there I can't are people that myself. act that way. Yeah. 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 It's like, nuts. You know what? If you're really a baller, just roll with cash, and then give your entourage like money. Well, yeah, why don't you got like two grand in their pocket? Pull out sixteen grand for your van, motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, that, that I, I, I don't know. This is I, this is. I would be very interested to see how this turns out in the lawsuit, man. You know, because if I was a jury and I and I'm looking at this, like, wow, I'm so glad he recorded this so we could see what he did. But also, the Home Depot has all of this. The, that's They've why got this I, recorded. I, I, yeah. I fully support a non-lawyered civilian review of all these lawsuits. Mm -hmm. Will you come in front of me and me and Patrick and then let me go? You go. I want to sue him because he went and I go get the fuck. No, out of here. Mm -hmm. can't leave. Get You're not the doing fuck that. out of here. Get the. Oh yeah, you got hurt because of that doctor. Okay, we'll hear that. We'll hear that. All mm -hmm. right. You know, you tripped and fall because mm -hmm. you're a klutz. Get out yeah. of here. More than likely, get what's going to happen though? Home Depot is just going to get scared and settle, and that's the we're running a game. You know, we're just running a game now. Like, this is the stupidness hopefully that they, we're... Hopefully they, hopefully that we're they find it. I would, yeah, I, if it was me, I wouldn't. I would put this out there. I want this person to talk about how they came in with their entourage, then they left their entourage and expected them to come out with the with the tens of thousands of dollars worth of stuff, but the <laughs> store was so racist that they asked for ID when they presented a credit card. Bastard. And... Because I, if I was a lawyer, I would go. And so who who was it that uh, presented the IT? Oh, Jamal Johnson. I'm oh, sorry. Or, was Jamal Johnson or, Tyrese? Blah blah blah. Or, or <laughs> Matt, Fernando Gomez. Name? Yeah. You know, it's like... <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the I'm sure the employee in a California Home Depot's name last name is Hernandez or Sanchez. <laughs> yeah. If you look at those people who were there, the Home Depot people, are like, what is happening? <laughs> That was, yeah, probably, they, that, that was probably the only white girl in the whole store, that one that was pictured there. So. I'm not even sure that was a white chick. But yes, you know, I mean, we, we shouldn't know. And it doesn't matter. You don't know who you're looking at. Yeah. You, you know, you don't know who you're looking at and who they are. So, 
It's yeah, yeah. yeah wow. It's w w w this is crazy. The reason like, they have these policies is because of people ripping them off. Uh, per, per, period. That's it. That's, that's it. it. Mm -hmm. That's if nobody ever ripped them off, they wouldn't have these policies. Yep. Yeah. And I the whole concept of ID is is like, hey, they don't know who you are. If they don't know who you let are. Me, let me just let me just throw something else mm -hmm. out. The stores get ripped off by a lot more white people than they do. People millions, because, millions. Because there's yeah. a lot more white people than there are people of, of color. So. Yeah. Um, there was an article, I don't know, I think I did send it to you guys a couple of weeks ago, that there was a, a white pastor at a church that stole like $4 million from Home Depot in Florida. That Remember that? That was, in, that was in Florida here. Yeah, that was a, that was a, like a white, pa I can't remember exactly what it was. If you look it up, you'll see yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw. It. I remember seeing that. Yeah. yeah, that happens to all of us. You guys get asked for ID, right? I I should have checked with you first. Depends on depends on what I'm doing. I'm buying yeah. booze or something. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're buying ten grand. We're gonna come back. The Who Moved My Freedom podcast is made possible by our partners at Two A Commerce, veteran owned and with over twenty years experience. Two A Commerce is the leader in custom e-commerce and web application development in the shooting sports industry. Clients include major brands such as Guard Dog Body Armor, Sylvan Arms, AccuFire Technologies, The Tactical Games, Warrior Knife Company, and yours truly, Hank Strange. Visit 2A Commerce and support this show by supporting them. Once again, visit the number 2acommerce.com. Yeah, um, 42 Chill said it looked like an Hispanic. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Could be. Um, Hispanic girl could be the, you know... Yeah. It's tough to know nowadays, right? But it I does, really just don't really, think it matters. Yeah. It doesn't really make any difference. The rules are the rules, and the rules are there because of people. It's like in Florida. It's, it, Florida has so many rules, like about uh, uh, title transfers with automobiles and all this mm -hmm. stuff, and you can't do this, and you can't... And the reason why? Because all these... People it's just a lot of fraud, it. yeah. I mean, if, you're, if, if I'm if I'm charging five bucks on my credit card, it's not a problem typically. But if, but you're, if you're putting if you're 5, putting five 000. grand, ten grand, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the that's the thing is the amount. It's automatic. <laughs> By the way, if you spend more than nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. I found that out when I did the uh, when we bought that tractor. <laughs> that has to get by law reported, reported to the government. That should be illegal, by the way. <laughs> I agree. It's bullshit. That should be un that's unconstitutional <laughs> that they have any I business. I think in my uh, Matt Hoffman's in jail because of something very similar to that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So th these are just uh, you know, man. You know what's okay? I, I need to stop talking about Tyrese and his stupid ass. But this is the guy. <laughs> this guy. He went viral. Like he had a baby mama who was suing him and getting all this money, and he couldn't see his baby. And he was viral because he was crying on Instagram. About how he couldn't see his baby. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was crying that he had to, um, you know, he had to, like, pay all this money, but he couldn't see his baby. Seriously. If you, it, it's a meme. He's a, it's a meme. Look, all you have to do is search Tyrese. Oh, he's a oh, joke. Really? And wow. you'll see him crying about it. So he had a baby mama that for whatever reason it didn't work out. I get it. It happens, you know. Um, but, but <laughs> that's, a, that's so, embarrassing. He's shit. totally manly, do, you know. Like, you get, yeah. Even if you cry, you, this is. Let me just say this for young people out there who don't know it. There's nothing wrong with crying. I've cried. I lost my mom. I cried. Lost my dog. I cried. Things make you cry. Dumb shit like this. If you're gonna cry about it, go hide somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get out there crying about how your maybe baby mama ain't look up that video sometime. It would do you guys want me to show you the video? No, that's okay. I believe you. I, believe I don't you. think I don't think you really want to see it. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe you. I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> so 42 chill says he's the fast and furious guy. Yeah. He's hyped up thinking that a car can swing from vines. That's what it really is. Yeah. That's what the, the last Fast and Furious movie, they literally swung the car like Tarzan. Not on a vine, but on uh, like a metal, what's those 
are they called gird no not girders what are those metal ropes like those braided metal ropes called cable 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 yeah like on a cable yeah they swung a car yeah like it was tarzan what 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 number of fast and furious is that like fast and furious 27 or what 10 10 oh only 10 oh okay yeah (laughs) hopefully the last I have like ten. Yeah. yeah, hopefully the last. Okay, what other what other uh stuff is going on here? What what else is floating your boat? Floating my boat. Um, yep, floating your boat. I think Patrick was sending is there a they live uh anniversary playing of they Oh live? yeah, this weekend. Yeah, sent, I wanna go see it. Oh, that's in like a lot of actual movie theaters. Yeah, regular movie theaters are getting a Saturday, uh, the sixth, the third, and the sixth. Uh, it's the thirty-five year anniversary for They Live, oh. and it's going to be in the theaters for two days. That's worth seeing in a movie theater. Great. I want to go see it. Yeah, I kind of want to go see it. just just for the Rowdy Roddy Piper fight scene. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I initially back in the eighties when that came out. I didn't see that. No, uh, I didn't think have I you, saw Walter, it. Walter, the have you ever seen I've it? seen it. No, no. Oh awesome God, movie. it is the it is. I'm not a movie goer, but that movie is modern society. It is what mm. is happening in modern society. Yeah, awesome movie. Rowdy Roddy Piper was one of my favorite wrestlers. So, okay, that's yeah, that's cool that that's in the theaters. I would say that's worth going to mm-hmm. a theater to see. Um, other crazy thing that happened was this helicopter crash. You we were talking about. Oh yeah, oh, they didn't like die, that. by the way. So yeah, it's, no. I don't know. They're in stable condition, I think. So no one's dead from that crash. If you look at the video, oh, I'm not going to necessarily it play it here. It's brutal to watch that thing go down. It loses its tail rotor. Sp- oh, what a horrible way to go! Yeah, two dead, two injured, and fire rescue helicopter crash in oh, Palo so Beach, so Florida. Die, I guess. Were the dead in the the place it landed on, or were the ones in the plane? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Um, two dead, two injured. Let's see. Yeah, let me see. I'm trying to see if I can even pull up the... The two uh, injured victims are being treated at the hospital. Terry Jackson, 50, had worked for fire rescue for 19 years. So one of the pilots is dead. Um, Is that all that we have? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a... Oof. A helicopter is a hell of a thing. Walter and I were talking about that. It's awesome. (laughs) Amazing machine. You know... When they work when it works Mm -hmm. yeah but when you when something doesn't work you realize what gravity is all about so one one the pilot one pilot was killed and then one person in the apartment was killed oh yeah can you imagine you're minding your 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 mind in your own a business in your apartment and something helicopter comes to the roof on fire some Mm -hmm. that's some crazy like what was that movie where death's coming for you and there's nothing you can do yeah, you know what's funny? So where I live is where they land the rescue helicopters for my area. It, it, they land it right across the street from, from my house. I see that. I hear that copter from coming from uh, from Gainesville. You know, whenever something's going on, if they have to medevac someone, it comes in. Yeah. And it goes over the house. You guys might have been out here and like, seen like, that happening. Those those helicopters are the uh, like Blom Voss. It's a German helicopter, I think, and they mm-hmm. make a very unique sound. You know, when the mm-hmm. when the medevac helicopter flies over it, you can tell it's going. Yeah, and it's yeah. Going, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I always think about that whenever it buzzes the house. You know, we're clear in the fight in the <laughs> flight path. I'm like, <laughs> I hope these mofos choose the trees. But here's the thing, once again, about a helicopter: if you lose one of those rotors, you don't have any choice of where it goes. Mm-mm. Nope. <laughs> it's not like a plane that you can glide in under the proper circumstances and put well, that down as our friend flying rich has done quite a few times <laughs> you can um, auto rotate kind of you know where you mm-hmm. you flip the blades and you let it the blade spin and bring you down but it's fast mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not it's not a it's not an easy landing so yeah 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 so i i do think about that uh you know but yeah if, if it's your time you know it's your time it's, it sounds kind of, you know, like you're giving up, but it's if it's your time, it's your time. I think, you know, I would try to fight <laughs> <laughs> to not go out like that. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, that helico- a helicopter could drop on you from anywhere. For that matter, a plane <laughs> could drop in on you anywhere. A car. Watch. I was like I was telling Hank, watch some of the videos from... Uh... 
from U- Ukraine when they shoot down like shoot down a helicopter. Mm-hmm. It, there's not much time to think about what what's gonna happen. It just, mm-hmm. Boom. Yeah, you're just having a you're just having a bad yeah. a bad day a bad a really, day a really bad day. Yeah. So talking about movies, um, have you guys heard of this movie called Sisu? I was just watching that yeah. movie last night. So here it goes. It's a Finnish movie. It's from Finland. It's about um, war. Here it's called uh, Sisu. It's back in World War Two times. Um, the the this... filmmaker, the filmmaker here has made a few different movies. But basically, this is about, um, I don't know where I would pull up the trailer for it. But, okay, how can I explain Sisu? It's a really good movie. It's basically like Rambo. Rambo meets Inglorious Bastards or something. So it's about this Finnish guy that was like, in uh, you know, he was a special operator and helped get the Russians out of Finland and then World War Two is happening and the Germans are in there and they're doing like um, scorched earth policy. But he was a, you know, he, um, he was like special ops, but then he comes out of that and he goes to looking for gold and he finds this gold and he's trying to like take the gold, you know, somewhere to cash it in. And these Nazis... Um, and a tank and, and different heavy uh, machinery stuff come across him and they steal his gold and he kills their asses. It's it's a good movie. Is it up there with RRR? <laughs> Not necessarily. But it's, it was it was pretty good. It was good. In so, the words of Indiana Jones, I hate Nazis. <laughs> it was a good movie if you're looking. It's called Sisu um, and we, we got it from um, from iTunes but it was good. Okay. Really good movie. Like, it was, there was no messed up, you know, everything in there was good, man. It had good action, all that kind of stuff. It's awesome. So it's got some, you'll love it. It's got tanks and all that kind of we stuff. Gotta, yeah. We're going to have to start finding movies outside the U.S. to enjoy now. Yeah. Nothing the, in the U.S. is worth watching anymore. Isn't that crazy? Like, the Finnish are making movies? <laughs> Finland? Yeah. Well, Finn's not known for a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Indians, for sure, are kicking asses. The, Dude, the Indians are put a put a thing on the moon. Yeah, yeah. I was I watched that thing. I was I, I, I was te- I text Hank and I he yeah. he's watching too. And mm-hmm. I'm like, go India, go, 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 <laughs> go, go. I mean, yeah. For a couple reasons. First thing, to poke the fucking Russians because they were supposed to be working together on this lander thing. Oh, the Indians and, and the I, Russians were supposed to do. Yeah, that? and then oh. the Russians, you know, started their monkey business and mm-hmm. and. Um, so the Indians went it on their own, and um, but yeah, I thought the no, Russians no. tried to land something and it crashed. Smack. Yeah, yeah. Smack dab right in the middle of the moon, baby. <laughs> yeah, the, the, it, the, that was a proud day for the for the Indian peoples. Oh yeah, and then their little ro- their little rover came down the ramp onto the surface of the moon. Yeah, and stuff. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm I'm going go India yeah. go. And immediately, and first... immediately, I want to see the video of the first. Non being made on the moon, and the first curry. <laughs> I'm Indian, and I can say this shit. I want to see. I want to see the Indians put. To pe- <laughs> here, 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 here's how it is. It's like our early uh, astronauts with the in the pouch. They yeah. heat up the pouch and squirt it. Right. Out. Would, you know how amazing that would be to have some roti and curry on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was looking at okay, so you know, like India is on the border with China, and they they've been fighting. Remember, we've talked about that. Well, they're that's fight, another reason. Like, that's another yeah. reason I'm hip on India too, actually. Yeah, they have so, these uh, border they, they issues. Like to beat up on the Chinese. Yeah, 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 yeah that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. so there's there's video of the crews because the Indians, um, what mountain is it? This is massive mountain over there. They're putting a um, a tunnel through this mountain that's like four miles each direction through a freaking mountain and they're working on it and they have all these indian dudes up there and they've got people cooking and making food everything it's like a lot i was looking at it and getting hungry and like the indian food getting made up and these yeah. dudes are living you out want there diarrhea i guess <laughs> a bunch of mountain dwelling indians who are digging in caves you are asking it's for diarrhea. It's awesome man but yeah, the way they're like the way they're dealing with that, and they're literally using um, TNT and stuff like that to blow up this mountain and take the stuff out, and yeah, it's, right. it's amazing. So can I can I make one suggestion for the Indians? Mm-hmm. Take some of those really good people in that space program building spacecraft, 
and please put them over in their gun design and part and w- make their own assault <laughs> rifle because Thanks, the Indians dude. have really, 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 really had a hard time with coming guns? up with their own, their own battle Their guns rifle. are not good. Their tanks are terrible. Oh, really? They, their main they, battle tank is, is first really First of all, bad. India needs to make its own bullpup. Let's start right there. Oh, stop, stop. no, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh I think that, the Indians can finally perfect the bullpup. While I'm, while, while you brought the bullpup up, you mentioned you wanted uh, to buy that bullpup adapter kit. Yeah, the um, what are the name for of those the guys for the Reap? AR-15? Yes, Reap Weaponry. Reap Weaponry. We're working on getting them to come on the uh, let me Dustin see, the YouTube channel. Dustin from um, the guy that was on the Top Shot. Top, Dustin yeah, from Top Dustin, Shot. Top yeah, yeah. He's uh-huh. got a video shooting one. Yeah, there's a, actually quite a few videos out there. Let me see if I can pull it up. So this is from Reap Weapon Reese, and Lola did reach out to them. We are going to get them to come on. And basically, this goes on a lower and makes an AR lower, AR-15 lower, and makes it into a bullpup. And you can oh. use it on the BRN. You can use it on all kinds of stuff. Ooh, They've got a bunch a, of looks, cool videos. That looks like a, you could use it on even a side charger there. Hmm, uh-huh. That. So they've got a bunch of good videos out there. If I'll have to, they're gonna come on and talk about it. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't cool. look bad. I mean, it doesn't yeah, have it's all, some. It's some... All metal. Uh, look at Patrick. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna come on. They, I think Lola has already been talking to them. They're gonna come on. They're gonna show us the guns. Patrick, kind of when, when Hank first mentioned this this thing, Pat, mm-hmm. Patrick goes, Groza, there's only one. Groza. There's only one. It's Groza. Groza. That's right. Groza. Yeah, but so we can't we can't use this to do a Groza, though. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no Groza is a, 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 a AKS does, does anyone have a metal, a, a metal kit that turns an AK into a bullpup? I think so. I think we've talked about it before. Uh, the, the, well, the, the Malamute the, would be really cool. Mali, the Ukrainian, the Ukrainians have a, a, a seventy four mm. kit, yep. um, mm-hmm. and it doesn't look bad either, actually. But no, it's not I actually, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I think that thing would be great with like the BRN, like a three. I have a three hundred blackout. I'm gonna buy it from them. I'm gonna buy that thing from them. What was it? What was it? I think. It, let me see. Um, they're a small company. You guys want another? It's four ninety nine. Four ninety nine for for this thing. So I'm gonna buy this from them. And I'm gonna build. We're gonna build that, Walt. We're gonna do it. We're gonna yeah. assemble it. Yeah, that's easy. yeah. I'm not big on adapters <laughs> for bullpups. I like a like purpose built. Hundred dollars for an adapter? Yeah, you know, and make it a bullpup. Does it come with anything else or just the trigger adapter? It com- It comes with no. It, it Here, adapts onto the lower and moves your I got, trigger backwards. I got a bunch of these. We'll make some trigger adapters right here. Okay, Patrick. Ah, four twenty nine. Four twenty nine. You I'll start. Make trigger put that out in metal. Let's see what you got. <laughs> this is metal. Is it metal? What? Boop. Metal. That's not metal. It's aluminum. Aluminium. Alu- aluminium. Yeah. <laughs> listen, we're going to have them on. You know, uh, listen, I'd like to help out people. Might as well help out some bullpup people. No, it's something uh, new. Yeah. It's something new. Yeah. It's something different. Yeah. I'll build one. But the one that Justin was shooting was on the, that was on a BRN. I don't that know was? where the hell that video is. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. trying to find yeah, it's a, it. Yeah, it was BRN 180. Yeah, I had sent it to you guys, but that I found it as just... a, I think I found it as a short popped up on my because I had I subscribed yeah. to his channel. That's what it popped up on. My yeah, channel. it popped up on mine, and I sent it to you guys, and now I don't know where it is because we talk a lot of shit. Did you all see? <laughs> and this is gonna bring it down a little bit. This is gonna bring it down oh. a little bit. There was a shooting at Chapel Hill uh, today, a couple hours ago. Yeah, uh, there the was suspects. one in, in Jacksonville a couple days ago. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jacksonville also. Uh, the suspect mm-hmm. was been released, uh, the name and the face, mm-hmm. and the tagline is, shooter described as quite, a quote, mostly white Asian male. <laughs> <laughs> now, and they have a oh, picture, Lord. and people are already looking to his background. He's a Chinese citizen. He's not, even, he's not an American. He's 100% Chinese, but he's a mostly, mostly white Asian male. Well, because if if, if if the bad guy's not a white guy, then there's really not a lot of bad guy. I th- who writes this stuff? Mostly uh, white the, Asian male. Mostly white is training on... Because, they, because they want to make a, a, a race angle here. Now, in, in Florida, in Jacksonville, we did have a shooting where a white guy did go specifically after black people in a um, Dollar General. You, the how weird do you thing, know that? 
well, they, well, they said he was a white guy, and it was black people that he was. Oh yeah, they said shot. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, they definitely, yeah. they said that. So, <laughs> and we believe everything the government. Yeah. But here's the thing: outside of that, what they're also saying is that this guy went to a college, um, historically black college. What was that? Put what? On, puts on. He he's acting where he puts on a bulletproof vest. The, and they the, just shoot the police him off. show up. Yeah, they just get rid of him, and no one goes. That guy might be trying to start some shit. And then he then he goes to the to the Dollar General and kills these folks. And unfortunately, there was no one there to fight back. When the cops showed up, he killed himself. Um, I just I, I don't. One so. thing I don't understand is we somehow immediately have a motive and a multiple manifestos that right. somehow the police department, the sheriff, already has in hand, so he can talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, black sheriff, by the way. We still don't have the manifesto that we know exists. They have the manifesto from that. They have the manifesto from that chick. Oh, I know they do. They haven't we released yeah. it, though. It's amazing no, when it goes haven't. in one direction, we can get all the info instantly. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Um, so, okay, so Armament and Access says, what recoil system does it use? So it's using the recoil system in whatever gun. So it would be an AR hmm. recoil system. If it's a BRN, the BRN has its own recoil system in there, so... The BRN Whatever. uses the, uh, the 180 recoil. Yeah, I think oh. you could even use the Jackal because the Jackal is just using a well. The it's using the 180. Is, Jackal's 180, isn't it? It's pretty. It's very AR similar. Yeah, the Jackal is using a regular lower also. You, so I'm you assuming want something you could, that yeah. you want something that doesn't have a buffer too. That would be yeah. your best. You, so so the short answer is you can do something with a buffer tube, mm -hmm. but without would be better. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, we're going to take a quick break here. We're going to come back and we're going to wrap. We wouldn't be able to keep the Who Moved My Freedom podcast going without the support of manufacturers like Safety Harbor Firearms. SHF is a quintessential family-owned small business, totally representative of the American dream. Safety Harbor Firearms is a Florida-based manufacturer of the compact entry stock and the SHTF 50 upper for an AR-15 lower. Also, SHF happily delivers on your Sten Gun parts needs. So don't forget to check out StenParts.com and SafetyHarborFirearms.com. All right, as I said earlier, 99999. It's, it's over now. It's wrapping up. We're wrapping it up. Next episode will be 1,000, which is crazy. I mean, we've slowed this down. We should have been at a thousand a long time ago. If we... Months ago. <laughs> yeah, but we slowed it down. You know, uh, we're getting to a thousand. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do Labor Day. We're gonna take Labor Day off. I think we're coming back September 11th. Nine and 11. that will be. Nine, nine. Yeah. So nine we're not. 11. We're not doing it next week. The one thousand <laughs> is not next week. No, because that's Labor Day. Yeah. So we're gonna do it the week yeah. after. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do it the week after. You know. So everyone, it's freaking hot, and you know. There's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, We've all got families and stuff like that. Isn't so that 9-11 though, right? 9-11 is when we're coming back to do it. So that will be episode 1,000. A lot of people are invited to come on and hang out with us. Um, you know, if you want to, uh, it'll be fun to do it. But I really do appreciate this. I've been kind of trying to slow it down and savor it a little bit instead of just powering through it. And on top of that, I have a lot of shit going on. I'm running a whole other channel. And all of that. So it's crazy for me, crazy for Lola, crazy for these guys, for Walter and Patrick, who have been doing this consistently now for years. I mean, Patrick is freaking making babies now under under this. <laughs> There's a whole baby born to who who moved my freedom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we have ownership uh, partly over a baby. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's it's crazy and it's fun. I enjoy doing this. It's like, you know, it's a fun thing. But we will then the, for the thousandth, we'll come back, we'll do that. And we're going to do it after that. So, you know, um 42 chill says van life. As I usually do here, I want to give these guys a chance to tell you how you can support them. I would ask you to definitely do that. Patrick has got, you know, his monetization back, so Go to YouTube, as he's saying, and look at his videos and help him out. Walter is monetized on Deadfoot, uh, Dirtfoot Racing, not Deadfoot. Deadfoot. Racing, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to let them talk about it. Patrick, tell the folks what you got coming up. Oh, Walter's showing off. Uh, That's a lower receiver. Yeah. yeah. Side folder, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. YouTube.com slash babyfacep. Instagram, Instagram is baby underscore face P. We have, uh, we're working on 
I haven't had the chance to start it, but I do have a beautiful Model 11 that this week, hopefully, where you're going to start rust bluing, cleaning, and putting it back together. Uh, and so by next week, hopefully, we'll have some content for everybody. Um, and then we got a lot more projects. We got a whole bunch of projects that I'm really excited for. So this is going to be really Yeah, don't, for, don't forget my revolver either. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the revolver is part of the project list. I have it. Oh, okay. I have it. Because it's in a bag of oh. revolver. Awfully nice lightning shirts here waiting for you. I know. I, know. <laughs> I just got to get it done. I got to get it done. Oh, yeah. Lots of paraphernalia for It the... might even... Uh, never mind. <laughs> it's almost cheaper for me just to buy one because they're not worth hardly anything and just send you a nice used one, but I'll get it done. It will get done. No. Wait, Walter wait, looks wait. confused as all get out. Right you now. can get one of those revolvers used for like $110. An H&R? Yeah. Yeah, they don't draw hardly anything. Hmm. But hmm. that's not the point. There is sentimental value. It's been sitting in my house for five years. It needs to get done. It's yeah. Gonna get done. yeah, let's get down to the facts of things here. Yes, yes. that's right. Yeah. Um, uh, that, so Walter, Walter, what do you what do you have going on? Other than you're looking, uh, yeah, playing with an EOTech that was up on the shelf here. Mm -hmm. um, what have I got going on? Um, well, there's uh, Safety Hour Firings on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, and the uh, player there, mm -hmm. and Dirtfoot Racing, um, same thing on those three and player and their stem parts.com for all your stem parts needs. Um, gonna make some of these Benelli mag tubes for you guys that have a, a Turk Nelly or a Benelli. Gonna make some full length mag tubes. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be a little bit, not immediately. You gotta get the mm -hmm. tubing and get them on the lathe and there's a little bit of. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. You're already putting up videos. So people are waiting for these things. So my, oh, I know. my advice is it. make it snappy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, God this damn, people yeah, buying course. this people going to PSA and buying the shotgun <laughs> because I'm making just so they can get a, a Turk Nelly yeah. tube. Yeah, bless your heart. <laughs> uh, we will do them. Yeah, this gonna this is gonna be a quickie. Actually, it won't be a hard project to do. So, uh, mm -hmm. um, I've got enough tubing coming. Or I'm gonna get enough tubing to do probably a hundred and hundred and fifty of them to start. So, okay. Um, yeah, and then we'll see yeah. how that goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if if that goes quickly, then I'll order more tubing. Um, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Now, obviously, we got this hurricane coming through. I hope everyone in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, um, you know, stays well. The, listen, it could go anywhere, but no matter what, it's I I feel like Florida is gonna you know Florida Panhandle etc. We're gonna pay the price for it. So just be prepared for <laughs> it. Good. It huh? can't go anywhere. It's going to hit us. It's just going yeah. to come. Yeah. Uh, you know, hopefully it will jog a little bit more into the Gulf. <laughs> Get jog a little bit more uh, to Texas. Go to, te yeah, yeah, go to Texas. Go to Texas. <laughs> no. And no jogging. Yeah. No, um, it's going no right over Gainesville. It's going to be So fun. my friend that you guys know, Mark, moved to Destin, and he called me to ask me about it. And he was like, He's yeah, good. man, it's, it's coming for you. I was like, I hope it comes in and hits you guys' ass. He's coming. He's, he's good. And he got mad. He was like, "Don't, don't you wish that on me?" They so, actually bumped. They bumped the uh, the track up a little further north. Than yeah, it looks like had. it's going to hit Steinhatchie. Steinhatchie is called Steinhatchie, not Steinhatchie. Yeah, uh, it's gonna. It looks like it's going to hit about there and come in across. Yeah. Okay. Horseshoe Beach, up that way. Yeah. 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 So it's it's going to be unfun for those folks on that. There's not a whole lot of life on that border uh, mm -hmm. in that watery area anyways but still no, you don't want people losing their houses no you know it's never fun when you have eight to ten feet of water in your house you know, mm -hmm. so. yeah i'm just showing off my akv right now oh yeah i'm never in the thumbnail have you guys noticed that most of these things you know you do create those right yeah i don't know if you realize but you yeah, you do create do. thumbnails this is true and i can't <laughs> get the damn thing to switch there you go yeah i almost never Can put I myself in there in the thumbnails so tell your son to make a thumbnail of you no oh, oh i make the thumbnails. the thumbnails no i make oh, the thumbnails no one else oh, okay. no one else is making the thumbnails no, except no, me no, but you no, know no. i'm always happy to show other people and all that kind of stuff but every now and then i put me up in there so yeah um, dcg44 um <gasps> it's gonna happen it's gonna happen sooner than later oh, so I'm yeah have to send this to walter how much do they oh they want way too much money never mind you don't want it that bad oh what? all right what? so microtech <laughs> It's a Rhodesian Microtech. Oh, those whores. So oh, you, no, Rhodesian he's got to get a Rhodesian Microtech for his... Uh... No, 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 no. <laughs> he want what, $450 what, for a Rhodesian-style Microtech. Is this a camouflage, camouflage pattern? Uh, camouflage, oh. yeah. 
Fuck mm. that. That's crazy oh. talk. That's way too yeah. much money. <laughs> yeah, and, unless it was carried by a Rhodesian and, you know. Yes, exactly. You know, no. Oh, never mind. It's made okay. by people we don't like. Anyways. All right. We are out of here. Do you guys want to show guns? Let's see. Just show no, some guns. Nah. Throw, 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 them. throw some guns up, Patrick. Damn it. Oh, you You know, you always have to be like, uh, you always have to be the rebel. Come on. Throw up a gun. Oh, you get, throw, throw up it. a knife. Okay, ah, right. Throw up a gun, okay. Patrick. Fine. Ah. <laughs> we are out of here. I will see you guys. We'll see you next time for episode 1000. We're out. Peace. It looks like... Uh, are we